No, my audio is just on on my phone. Oh. Mm. So I could look at chat right here. Hi, everybody. Okay, so we're going to be playing a whole bunch of games today, um, starting with uh, Legend of Korra. And then we're gonna play Azul, which is a tile laying game, which I'm really, really excited about. It's gotten a lot of reviews. I had to wait for the second wave to get it because it kept selling out everywhere. Um, and then Vegan Power Ranger was kind enough to send us both Photosynthesis and Drop Mix. So we're gonna we're gonna finish out the night with those two games. Um, so again, thanks again so much for sending those our way. Um, Legend of Korra I backed on Kickstarter a while back, and Azul I've just been like itching to get my hands on. So we're just figuring. Crossing. We Crossing. Game on. And uh, so I just figured that, uh, yeah, this would be a good time to bust all these games out at once because I haven't opened any of them. Uh, yeah, so that's what's happening. <laughs> um, so He's going to oh, be leaving wait, in a sec. Wait. Wait. Well, not that we started. I got to go. Oh, you all right. Suck. I'll be back. He's got to go get a child. Yeah. Art's, Art's going to be back. If you want to move to this seat, Ryan. I will move Because this first game, Legend of Korra, is a, is a two-player game. So now we can just hang out in this space. Would, would it be better if Ryan stayed on that side so that you guys weren't on the right side, left side of the frame? It's okay. I mean, oh, just... you're moving there. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you were moving there. There's no, no. not enough Goodbye. space, actually, to... Oh. <laughs> I made it really easy for him. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, while he's moving things around and doing those things, um, I'm going to open this box. What's in that box? box? Open the box. I'm going to switch to... I don't know what any of these do anymore. Yeah. Overhead. That's overhead? Yeah, that's the big, big overhead. All right. So let's open this box right now. Let's open this box. Who's hey dang son? Hey Jin Raven, with your with your first place medallion. Oh, actually, uh, switch back to my face, please. I forgot to talk about the purpose of today. Um, so the other purpose, so the main the main reason we planned this initially was just to say thank you to all of you guys. So this is just like the hangout stream. You guys have sent us all these all these lights, all these games, the stream deck right here. Like all this shit exists and is present because of you guys. So this is us kind of like hanging out, celebrating you. Um, but on top of that, um, there's something more important happening right now than us or the stream or whatever. One of our own, um, one of our one of our checkers is going through a really tough time health-wise. Yeah. So anything and everything that we raise today is going to go towards his medical care. Um, so if you noticed some of the the, the <laughs> blue light theming um, throughout the, the overlay today, that's what's going on. I don't want to dwell too much on it because, like, I mean whatever we're still here to hang out and have fun but just know that anything that's that comes in today is not for us it's not for the studio it's for him to take care of him because we're looking out like you all have looked out for us and it's the, yeah. the least we can do to look out for you guys so that's what we're doing today um on top of having really kick-ass games to play um so yeah this is legend of Korra. this is from idw games uh back this on kickstarter a little bit ago um <laughs> oh, hey, Goobs. Ah. He just saw the hopes burn bright. <laughs> Screen, bud. All right. Mm. The plastic is off. So now... Oh. So the other draw to this game, there's an expansion. And... Boop. Mm. There's an expansion to this game uh, called the Amon Invasion, I believe, which uh, has the bad guy from Korra from Season 1 coming in to like interrupt the arena. I didn't buy it because I wanted to know if I liked this game first. Normally Makes I'm all sense. about the add-ons and the expansions. Like you saw me with Rising Sun, I'll throw money away. Um, <laughs> but I, I, I didn't know anything about the mechanics of this game at all. I just I purely just like this universe and this world. So um, that's why I bought this one. And also because there will be a um, an Avatar The Last Airbender era game that they're supposed to be making and I'm way more interested in that. I love Last Airbender, it's my favorite cartoon. Um. Hey, Val Raccoon, welcome. Hey. Oh, speaking <laughs> of bacon and sushi, what? uh, bacon bot. Where's our bacon? <laughs> Here's the rule book. Oh, oh the board is man. bigger than I thought. Uh oh. Ooh, 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 more of these. More and of these. so more, more bases for characters. I guess these are effects, right? So we got water, fire, and earth. That's ooh. pretty cool. Um. Paper cut. Oh my God, I'm framing this. Hmm. That's you sweet. guys, you guys. Okay, so I don't know <laughs> how how many of you. Um, oh, hey, hey, Lord Terranox. That is Jared. For those of you who don't know, oh. Jared's is actually going to be coming. We, uh, I just, uh, sorry, I didn't text you back because we just started streaming. <laughs> but um, he's going to be coming in April, starting on the tenth, and we're going to be playing um, a new Dungeons and Dragons game with the just the humans. humans. So he's going to run the game for Ryan, myself, and Art. Um, and it looks like it's going to be a dark sun setting. So I'm really excited about that. That's like <laughs> that's like the 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 uh, what have been calling it. It's like the um, Mad Max of the D and D world. Like it's, it's post apocalyptic. Everything is awful. Life sucks. 
Um, and that's all I'm going to tell you guys about the story. But that's the setting. That's what it's going to be. And it's going to be us just role playing as us. We're just going to play the game as straight as we can, still having fun, still playing jokes, but not worrying about dismantling it or anything like that. And we'll figure out incentives stuff. If you guys have suggestions for that, throw that into show suggestions. How you'd like to see that yeah. turn out, maybe. Um, but yeah. Okay, so anyway, I gotta... I, Back this, to the thing. this poster is the best. This <laughs> is the best thing ever. I didn't know it came with this, so I'm super happy. <laughs> this summer, come and see Republic City's Pro Bending Finals! Whoa! The Champion Wolf Bats and the Challenge of the Fire Ferrets! <laughs> oh, this is the best. This is worth it. This is already worth it. You guys, <laughs> this is the other thing about Last Airbender is there wasn't a lot of um, merch when Last Airbender came out. Like, there's some action figures and stuff, but they, they stopped the run pretty early on. Um... But yeah. They didn't believe in it. Hey, Flint Bucket. Yeah, it's us. And then uh, Art will be back in a little bit. He had to go, he has to go do family things and he'll be back. And hopefully he'll be back in time for us to bust out one of the three player games. This one's only two players, so it, it works out perfectly. Yes. Things to punch. I'm gonna move this. Why would they? This is weird. So I love punching things, but I don't see the, <laughs> the purpose in wrapping something that you're going to punch. That's, that's a little so overkill as far as. I guess. Oh my God! But you know what? They they they, they, they I can't talk today. They do get oh. points for providing Perf. extra ziplocks because every board game, especially with minis, needs those. Yep. Um, have a great night and good fun, guys. I'm gonna, oh, enjoy the Kansas trip. <laughs> Tell your lady hello. Um, you guys are clipping a lot. We're clipping a lot, audio-wise. Hmm. Interesting. All right, Ryan's going to look at that real quick. Um, yeah, let us know if anything is technically weird because we're we're down Kenny at the moment. He might be joining us later today, but this is what we're looking at. All right, so I'm gonna punch these real quick. Punch, looks, punch, punch. This looks like Earthbender stuff. Cause I see fists. Although it could be fire. I don't know. I I, I haven't actually looked up the gameplay of this game at all. Ooh, but they're two-sided, different colors, which has more significant meaning. Um. Does that sound better, everyone? Does this sound better? Ah! Probably not me screaming, but as far as it not clipping. So these are probably going to be, I don't know, do the thing, the thing is spent, I guess, because there's two different colors of the same logo on each thing. I like guessing sometimes. I could be totally wrong. Has anyone played this game yet? I know it's it's fairly new, but it's been out for a little bit. <laughs> uh, Val says, yeah, it's a little low now. Mm. Okay. I just realized you guys are watching mini mini stream in this. There's some fire. Oh, oh, fire with an eye in it makes me think of Sparky Sparky Boom Man, who's one of my favorite uh, side characters in the show. A little low for talking, but perfect for yelling. I probably will avoid yelling today as much as I can. <laughs> my throat is not doing too well, and I still have to finish a book. And thankfully, my um, the, the the publisher, the author that I'm working for, is nice enough, has been nice enough to extend my deadline because it's due at the end of this month, and I was only about halfway through it, and that's totally my bad because I'm busying myself with things like this. So. Okay, I think I might have fixed it. All right, how about now? Do we sound good? Sound better? How about if I go low? How about if I go low? Hey, everybody, <laughs> welcome to the stream. I'm gonna switch it up a little bit. There we go. Now I can see everything and everybody. Hi, everybody. Hey, I'm over hey. here Ooh, doing more fiery stuff. things. I like fiery things. Don't touch it anymore. Okay. It's here's, perfect. Okay. Here's the arena. Um, what we got? So, okay. There's another question. How many of you have watched Legend of Korra or The Last Airbender, or Avatar: The Last Airbender? I always forget to use the full titles and oh. names. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Ooh. <laughs> Joe's like, well, now the volume's just too perfect. <laughs> ah, I'll flip the table. <laughs> <laughs> the table flip is my favorite of all of the emoticons. Mm -hmm. Or the standard ones, anyway. Got fire. We got Sorry water. if anyone's trying to talk to me. I do not have chat. I, I could just put it between us and then look. Voila, Yay. we both have chat. Why well, you gotta call me out like that? Oh, I also have, if you want, my Kindle is in the gray bag, my gray bag over there. Mm -hmm. We can pull that out and have larger chat. Sounds good. Uh, last airbender, not Cora. Why you gotta call me out with this? You know what? Oh, the bacon. No, it's fine. I forgive you about the bacon. It's cool. <sighs> and the sad part, this is now da -da -da -da, trash. It's garbage. Let's throw it out. Um, oh, a whole other thing. Ew, gross feet. <laughs> I don't want to 
you yeah, gross. Let's get rid of these first. Grody, grody. Maybe it's movement. Or maybe it's more earthbender shit? That seems like earthbender shit. Probably. Even if they're, they're, they're fake feet, you still get grossed out by feet. It's, uh, it's true, because feet are gross. People should have hooves. It would be a simpler and more beautiful world. Hmm. So you need to date a tiefling. Sure. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Perfectly fine with a person. No, I know. I'm just messing with you. Don't punch your Kindle. Oh, yes, no. I've only seen two seasons of Korra, but watched all of Last Airbender. I saw the first three seasons of Korra. I still haven't seen the last one because I was waiting for Amazon to release it. But the first three are free on Amazon, and it sucks because I feel like Korra got a really bad rap, um, but I think they worked really, really hard on it, and I overall enjoyed the story. I think the flow was weird, but that was Nickelodeon's fault because they didn't, um, didn't just, like, you know, like Last Airbender, they knew they were making three seasons when they started. Korra, it was like, we're making one. Now make three more. <laughs> So it's like, that's why it kind of feels kind of hiccupy. Um, but Last Airbender was the first cartoon to beat out, um, whatchamacallit, Batman the Animated Series for me, and Justice League and Justice League Unlimited, which were previously my favorite cartoons. But because the arc is so strong in Last Airbender, it became my favorite. Do, do, do. do you have a Twitch app or do you, wait? There's an app. More punchy fans. Airbender. Oh, wait, there aren't any airbenders at this point in time. Hmm. I mean, that's not true. There's Tenzin, but he's not a pro bender, so he wouldn't be in the pro bending arena. I'm going to guess this is a, like, whose turn it is marker, because it's just a tiny version of this. Uh, little tiny dots. I'm going to lose these. These are tiny. They're oh, tiny. Oh, goodness. Yep. All right, got everything off that one. More trash. What do you say? Enunciate? No. Okay. Well, Bad Chili, it's free if you have Amazon Prime. So you have, like, the Amazon Video Service. So it's up there. It's just you can't access it unless that's the other thing. Otherwise, you rent it for... You, I think you can rent the season for cheap, and then you can buy episodes for like two bucks a pop or something like that. Maybe less now because it's older. Uh, do, do, do. All right. Rules, rules, rules. Oh, wait, but there's more things to look at. Punch it in. Be weep. Mm. Uh, so, Wolf Bat. So, here's all your, your player bases Fire Ferrets, Republic City. Dope. Oh, wait. Do they all say Fire Ferrets on that? No. I'm confused. So this is fire ferrets, but then on the front it says the wolf, wolf bats. bats. You can't another play them both. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is there... More teams. I need to know if there's a Hasuk figure. I Ooh. must know. I must know. Wait, why is Unalak in here? I'm confused. They're mixing plot with, with game. That's kind of fun. I know that answer. Da -da -da -da. More garbage. All right. Water tribe. Red lotus. Okay. Let's look at this side first. Is that the boar cupines? <laughs> the buzzard wasps? The rebel roos? The tiger dillos? The earth empire? The red lotus? Water tribe. And, and then you just got fire these two. and the wolf bats. Okay. So these are all the teams. And then on the front, you have different stuff. So this is still this is still accurate. Porcupines, buzzard wasps, rebaroos, <laughs> tiger dillos. Oops, that's not correct anymore. Earth Empire. Nightbot's still on. Stupid Nightbot. Yeah, sorry. Ignore that code. Um, we will have a new code for you on Wednesday night. Water tribe. Okay, so these are separate. These are not teams. Wait, this is a team. This is the wolf bats. I am confused. Korra, Bolin, Maka. Ah, oh, so no Hasuk. Mm. Oh man. Alright, we might need him. We might not need him. Yep. Put all these aside. Yes. We got cards up. Wow, we've got lots of cards. Oh, a deck for each team. What? Thank you. That's beautiful. I like when that happens. Hmm. Deck. This is Water Tribe, Wolf Bats. 
Little baby cards. Little Ooh. baby cards. And a die. Oh, cool. So I guess this and the fans go together. Hmm. Now let's look at some beautiful minis. Oh, these are great. I want to paint these. They're bigger than some of the last ones. Cool. I might have trouble recognizing who's who. Well, that's definitely Unalak. That's Unalak. I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah. Anyway. Do, 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 do. Everyone's just talking about hair growth and bacon science. <laughs> that's fine. Is this Korra? No. Is that Beifong? Is that Lin Beifong? My favorite character? <laughs> One of my favorite I like Tenzin. Tenzin and I are very similar. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. I like these. These poses are really good. Yeah. They're very dynamic. A lot of them integrate the element really well. Is that a water bender? Yeah. A water bender. Looking for Cora. Where are you? Where are you, Cora? There you are. What game is this? Someone is this? Oh, this game. Hey, Big Maple. Welcome. Um, so this game. This is Legend of Cora. Um, Pro Bending Arena. So this is a two-player. Uh, competitive game and other than that uh, I don't know too much uh, beyond that I, I ordered this on Kickstarter a while back it finally came in um, I, I bought it specifically because of the theming because I love uh, my Surfender and Korra so I got these so we don't know how to play we're just unboxing it right now we're gonna look at it and then we're gonna play it for the first time in just a little bit well actually I mean right right freaking now um, okay so Nightbot is dead Nightbot is dead thank you all right, so the so, fun part. Let's look at the rules. Oh, hello, Icky Bully. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, oh yeah. So all of you who are just joining us, if you don't know much about our channel, uh, we are uh, Perception Check. The we call ourselves Perception Check. The channel is Perception Check D and D because initially we started with just uh, our D and D campaign uh, with our felted friends, uh, puppets. Um, mm -hmm. So on Wednesday nights we stream Dungeons and Dragons here. On okay. Monday nights we stream on Hyper RPG, which is a larger gaming uh, channel. Um, and then whenever we can, we try to do days like this where we play board games, we just hang out, uh, we chat with you guys. Um, today's like a big thank you, uh, thank you day. Um, and the purpose of today specifically is uh, one of our friends isn't doing too well, so we're trying to raise some money for some medical stuff. So anything that comes, normally everything that comes to us goes directly back into the studio, so for like lights and cables and all that stuff. Um, but we're good. So right now, we're good for now. <laughs> we'll still do things later. Um, but for today, anything that we bring in, anything at all, is gonna go straight to his medical care. And that's what we're here to do today. So um, that's also, uh, he's very uh, Blue Lantern uh, friendly and so are we. So we figured we'd make that the theme of the day as well. Um, anyway, back to the game. How rule to book. play. Expansion teams rule book. Oh, that's why. So there's an expansion uh -huh. involved, uh, included. So that probably explains the waterbenders and Udalak and, uh -huh. and all that. Which I honestly thought his name was Udalak. Didn't know it was Unalak until right now because I'd never seen it written down. Um, Unalak. Alright, this is the boring part where you guys get to watch us read. Um, okay. Read, 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 read. Alright, I'm going to go into my announcer voice because that's what they do on the show if you've ever seen the show. Ladies and gentlemen, benders of all ages, step right up and witness as two titanic teams square off in the epic elemental event of the ages. This is a struggle for survival, a contest of champions, a battle of benders. This is pro bending! Anyway, I'm done with that. <laughs> uh, summary of play. In Legend of Korra Pro Bending Arena, players each control a team of three benders competing in the Pro Bending League of Republic City. Use Ooh. bender abilities to manipulate the elements of earth, fire, and water, plus a few cunning tricks, to knock opposing benders out of the arena before they do the same to you. You play the game in alternating turns, beginning with the start player. On your turn, you will play every card in your hand in any order you wish to either take actions with a bender or increase your chi. Then, if you are not able to defend yourself from your opponent's attacks, your benders may be knocked back one or more zones. These are the zones. Okay. Um, possibly being knocked out of the, the arena. Finally, you may spend chi to add techniques from your strategy row to your main deck. I don't know what those words mean yet, so we'll learn it together. Um, the game ends immediately if one team is entirely knocked out of the arena. The game can also end at any time after all of a player's strategy, decks, strategy, strategy decks are empty. In that case, the player whose benders are uh, whose benders are have advanced furthest typo, um, yeah, total typo, have advanced furthest into the opponent's zone wins. Cool. So game components, we've got our 
uh, wolf bats and fire ferrets. I guess that should be our setup teams then. Do you want to be the wolf bats or the fire ferrets or do you care? I don't care. Okay, I care. So I'll be the fire ferrets. That's what I assumed. <laughs> <laughs> you can be the wolf bats. Yay. Tano is a dick. All right, okay. Anyway, <laughs> it's a fact of the show. Uh. Now let's try and center this up a bit. Mm. Oh, hold on. Keep this right book over here. Yeah. Mm, okay. I'm gonna move this computer gently. We have two questions out there. Two questions. Uh, one is, I saw you guys had, uh, were thinking about making trainer puppets and you have an Etsy shop. Any plans to add stuff like that eventually? Eventually, yes. Um, actually, that, that stuff we've talked about. Um, but right now, <laughs> we're, we're all, we have a whole bunch of projects, especially this month and next month are particularly busy for us. Yeah. Um, but pretty soon we'll be able to add stuff like that into the store. But most puppets will probably be made to order simply because of, you know, you, you're going to want something specific usually. But we might be doing those practice puppets, like just batch them and then maybe release them a little bit. Um, but we also have to make sure that that's kind of worth our, our time and effort because the materials, some of them are cheap, some of them aren't so cheap, and they're all very time consumptive. Um, so it's uh, it's a probably. We'll, we'll, we'll get on that. But, um, but yeah, we still have like um, a client commission to finish, and then I think another one after that that we also have to do. Um, but yeah, keep an eye out. And again, always join the Discord. If you ever have any questions about that kind of stuff, we'll be there. We'll be ready to go to and answer those. Last one was from uh, Flint. He's, uh, is the stream stream deck hard to set up? Um, not really. It's um, it's pretty pretty straightforward. The only thing is like when you have different collections of scenes, it's a little bit, bit of a headache to try and make them all work together because um, it doesn't want to use profiles the same way that OBS wants to use profiles. So you have to figure out how they work together. Um, apart from that, though, it's it's not bad. <laughs> Do I not have a fire ferret deck? Grab a roo. Did I miss it? Ooh. Do I just not have it? Can you open that up and see if there's two decks in there? Yep. I feel like the gold thing is there to help you tear it apart, but... <laughs> This should probably I see have two this. colors in there. There it is. All right. So there's your deck. Yes. There's my deck. And my favorite thing in any game, things that remind you on what the hell you're supposed to be doing. Mm. That's always very important. So here's your key terms card. And on the back are whatever symbol means. Good to know. So get your deck. Get your thing. And we'll find our minis in a second. I don't know where these go yet. But I'm trying to adjust so that this board is now in the middle. If we can. Hmm. I'm sure these will get divvied up in a second. I'm just trying to get them out of the way. Yeah. Boo, boo. Yeah, I couldn't answer the Stream Deck question because I actually haven't fiddled with it at all. <laughs> Me. One of these days. And it's, yeah, I'll leave it at the top. So we still have a play area down here. Cool. See you, Flint Bucket. See you, Flint. Well done. Need water. Alrighty. Okay, so back to the minis. Whoop. So wolf Whoop. bats need to find Tano. Tano? Man, I wish these were where were, were labeled. <laughs> That's not him. Okay, so he's a waterbender. Just pick who you think looks kind of like it. Never. That's <laughs> not how. No. <laughs> Get no. out of here. Never. No. No. Never. Right, let me see this picture. Just more close up. All right. So he's pulling the water up. He's holding this. That's him. So okay. That's Tano. That's your waterbender. Tano. So if you would like to put a blue clip under him, mm. and you need Ming, who's doing the handstand. <laughs> handstand Ming. So, am I using blue, or just blue for your water bender? Okay. And it'll be green for your earth bender and red for your fire bender. Because every team in this universe, if you're not aware, is made up of one of those three benders. Because air benders are scarce at the time, so they don't do air bending. They don't include it. Um, 
Let's see. And then it's going to be hard to get off later. I don't... That picture, man, I can't tell who that's supposed to be. Hmm. Right, that's Cora, so that's me. Oh, wait, maybe... Wait, who did I give you for the... No, that's right. Bullen is doing a different wacky kick. <laughs> nice Bullen. Pass. Ow. <laughs> I don't know why I say ow. That didn't hurt. <laughs> uh, firebender. Shaozu. Where are ya, buddy? Oh, that's water. Cora nope. water. Cora. Nope. Shaozu. Punch and, punch and fire. This guy. There he is. That's your dude. Yay. Alright. Now Love my it. fire. I got Mako. Which everyone in my voiceover class, because they had a one of the audition sides from that <laughs> that show, everyone called him Mako. Yes. <laughs> it's Mako, named after Mako, the guy who voiced Uncle Iroh, who died. Oh. That's fine. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm very sad about it. Uh, <laughs> oh my God! What Kicking is fire. Yeah, I know. It's like they're all in. Uh, uh -huh. Maybe. Hello! Maybe. Oh, look who's oh, back. Oh, hello. Oh, you brought alcohol. Hey! <laughs> this figure was better than he's been drinking now. Uh, scotch all day. Yeah. Agreed. All right. because, um, uh, because unsupervised, that's what Danny and I will do. That's true. Cool. I know it. Um, yeah, thank you, Dharma, for, for keeping that active in the chat. I appreciate it. Oh. Uh, just remembering that all the donations say are going to help one of our fellow checkers, which is what we call our community for those of you uh, those of you who are new. We also call them lovingly meat bags, if the puppets are talking. Um, but yeah, he's going through some, some serious life stuff, troubles, and we are here to help. We're here to help him out. And Goobs is here. I saw him pop in a second ago. So we're just setting up. Cool. You're going to be sitting there for a bit. That's fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yay! As thinking, what were you thinking about? Okay, can you help me find? I'm gonna use my time wisely. Right. Since I'm kind of a sitting watching, I might edit some photos. Since well, there you go. I got some photo editing to get done. I guess. I mean, you could be interactive and stuff. I will be interactive too. Are you sure? You, you, do you do don't. You things. don't want me sitting around doing nothing because then the ADD kicks in and then oh, I get I myself into trouble. <laughs> <laughs> You want me? You want to keep me busy doing stuff? Mm. Oh, thank you, Michi. I we totally missed that donation. <laughs> Appreciate it. Oh, thank, thank you. you so much. And uh, yeah, go enjoy class on arson. <laughs> don't it? don't burn down the banana stand if you can help it. <laughs> All right, hold up, hold up. Sorry, I didn't see it pop up in our streamlabs. Shout soon. Yeah. Put those sounds back on if we can. Well, this is a different donation profile, so we don't have the donation sounds. There should be Sick. sounds. There were yeah, sounds before. Yeah, for this one, we, uh, we, had we sounds. recorded Cucumber and Chunk sounds. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, look at you fancy. Oh, that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't see what you were doing. <laughs> this, this whole... Yeah, just nice. It's uh, nice. Muy, muy. Where <laughs> the hell is it? I don't know. What are you looking for? I'm looking for this guy, Shao Zhu. Shao Zhu. I don't know. Well, thanks. It's got fire coming off of his right fist, but it's not this guy. I'm certain it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. These could be tokens, you know, but... Did we focus the top cam? Mmm... Focus... Hey, look oh, at you. Because I already gave you him. I'm not looking... I'm looking for the wrong one. Hey, look, I found this again. Oh, hey, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> There he is. Marco. That's a focus. Lordy lord. You found him? Yes. I'm all good. I just need to put that somewhere. Thank you. Firebender. And there's a different, there's a figure for all of Korra because she's the avatar. <laughs> she can do all the elements. What does she get? Hmm? What does she get? What does she get? You said there's a color for Korra? Well, I mean, there's a different sculpt for each element for Korra because mm. she can bend oh, all of them. So there's, there's lots of variant in play, I'm guessing. Um, <laughs> hey, Texas. Hey! I got soft looking hands, do I? They're Isn't really it? not. They're 
Sandpaper. It's my junior back next to you. Uh, yeah. Yeah, can you just reach in? Or hand, no. hand it to me. <laughs> <laughs> you get the whole bag, man. <laughs> okay. So uh, now the limit is three pieces per. <laughs> yes, sir. I will get to the nameplates when I'm not trying to not fall asleep all the time. Ooh. What name, please? Uh, the the wood. Making pieces. them slightly more legible. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Ryan. God. Why don't you do things? Uh, Game no. setup. <laughs> you weren't so busy Art being sick. Is the stash carrier? The stash carrier? Stash. Stash. Because you have all the shit, I guess? Yeah, I bring a lot of stuff. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, all right. So place the arena board in the middle. Oh. Did it. Same arena base, man. Hey, Sam. How's it going? <laughs> We are playing Legend of Korra Pro Bending Arena right now. We have three more games games lined up after this, so we're going to try and burn through just a little bit. Um, mm. So arena board is divided into two sides, no separated way. by, fuck you, by a midline. <laughs> each side is comprised of three zones, with each zone being made up of several spaces. These are all the spaces. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I'm just, here's the deal. Here's what always <laughs> happens when I explain board games. I'll say everything, and then people will be like, oh, you didn't tell me. I'm like, oh, yes, <laughs> yes, I did. So I always have to make sure that I talk about everything. Gotcha. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Because when someone starts losing, people get mad. Uh, all right. Sort all the tokens into separate piles. Done. Place them in a common supply. Done. With an easy reach of both players. Sort of done. Place the referee die. I guess that's what this is. Uh, near the supply as well. Oh, fans sorry. or no fans. Yeah. I guess no that means it's a flag, like a foul or something. Ah, mm -hmm. I don't remember. It's been a while. This is like the Quidditch of Last Airbender <laughs> universe. For those of you who need to know. Um, trick cards are only used in advanced play, so we won't use those because we are not, not advanced. advanced. Select your team and take all the required components. Great, I know what those are. Each team is composed of a team board, select uh, technique cards for each bender, and three bender miniatures. One bender per element, water, earth, and fire. Okie dokie. Um, so wait, why are there... So there's a lot of cards, so that means we're, we have too many? Uh, I confused. Or maybe these are stacks. Those are probably stacks. All right, hold up. So this side is your side. I have I have different cards for like my water bender, my my earth bender, and my oh, fire I see. bender. Okay, so well then, Marco, check check. Am I kicking? Okay, so what does that mean? A plastic bag. Do we so, only so choose you, some? Uh, take no no. So we just yeah. So just separate those into those three piles, and then maybe shuffle. I don't know yet. I mean, anything you don't need, I'll move out of the way. So put it in the box over here. Cool. Like these the we don't need, and I think these are the these are the trick cards. So yeah. probably don't need these. Oh, all of these. We don't need any of these. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. That's actually exciting. That means there's a lot. There's several different ways to play the game, which I always like. Mm. Worky hammer. hammer. <laughs> <laughs> <I> stop it. <laughs> this is such an uh, <laughs> Uh, no, I have not played Hero Quest. I've always wanted to. Let's see. Uh, okay, okay, okay. So, our burr, burr, burr. Oh, yeah, that's why, because that's beat. step seven and eight. That's why I'm doing things wrong. So, try, uh, miniatures, bender per element. Yep. Bender miniatures in zone A. A? A, which is this closest one. We've already done that. Uh,. You may choose your own order of placement if you wish. If this is your first game, put the Earthbender green in the middle. Done. Okay. Um, red to their right and the Waterbender to their left. All right. Completely did it wrong. <laughs> I mean, I feel, feel like this is one of those, there is no wrong. You're just setting up your That's attack. That's true. Oh. Oh, maybe. Oh, yeah. This has yeah. them on the far edges. Um, all right. All right. Uh, zone A of the board. You may choose your own order placement if you wish. Nope. Um... <laughs> Yep, did that. Place your team board in front of you, did that. Then take one of the chi markers and place it on the O space of the chi track on your team board. Oh, that's what the little teeny tinies are for. Yes. So I'm red, you're blue. Hey. Chi track. Oh, oh zero. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh. It's an O here. That is not a zero. Fight me. It's mm. an O with a big fatty O. Uh, prepare the main deck for your team by taking the six basic technique cards, i.e. the cards with a gray border. Oh. Gray border and zero chi cost. Oh, I see. Yeah. It's just barely gray. <laughs> Huh? So this one has just a gray border. This one has a black border. Oh my it's, god! I know, I know. There's only like two <laughs> Sorry, cards in each one. Blind friends, Jeebus. All right, so we take these. So there's only six cards, yeah. Oh, Texas Gold just subscribed. Hello. Six months in a row. Hey, thank you, thank Texas. Thank you, Texas. And hello, Rebaldi. Oh, I didn't. Shit. Put hey, Rebaldi. Yeah, this is us. our first time. We just unboxed it. We're learning how to play right now. So I hope that's exciting for you. <laughs> Anyway, it's nice hanging out. It's good to good to good to see you in here, man. Shadow here from Hyper RPG. Hey, hey, Shadow. Seems like a bunch. Put uh, put your main deck to the left of your team board. Okay, so we take those six out, and then everything else gets shuffled. Yes. That sounds right. <laughs> I won't shuffle them just yet because that seems wrong. I'll tighten up. Shadow, hey Perception Check, Shadow here from Hyper RPG, just saying hi. Hi. Uh, uh, haven't seen much of PC on Hyper in a while, so hi. Hey, man. <laughs> yeah, we're always there on the Mondays, but it's it's late, we know. Um, <laughs> we feel it too. Yes. Uh, boop, boop. Dun, dun. Um, heading north towards Colorado from Albuquerque. Are you still on the oh. train, Uber? Uber body? Uber train. Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi? Okay, so hold up. Six. Six basic with team's logo, shuffling them together. Okay. Put your main deck to the left of your team board. I just don't know what main deck means. Oh, main deck. So left everything else. Team board. Everything else gets shuffled or not? Uh, no, everything else does. No. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I guess this is the main deck. Yeah. These are the starter cards. Gotcha. Shuffle these. Okay. I'm real good at reading. On the train until Saturday. Dang. Didn't actually leave until yesterday. Moved back, <laughs> moved back a day to get the good burritos. You got the good burritos? They didn't They didn't pack up early? Nice. I'm very happy for you because, yeah. I haven't had the burritos there, but I've had the tacos there, and they're amazeballs. Taco, taco, taco. I'm sorry. Art, you want this? <laughs> I just <laughs> I don't care right now. done. <laughs> 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 Ryan the racist. Seven. Prepare your strategy decks. This is your first game. Take one of each of the three advanced technique cards. The cards that do not have a color border. Duff. Wait, what? Uh, no color border. I mean, what? Didn't. Uh, I'm Sorry, confused. I don't know either. Okay, so prepare your strategy decks. If this is your first game, take one of one each of the three advanced technique cards. The yellow ones. That do not have a... What? So, like, there's these that have advanced techniques. But then it says the cards that do not have a color border. Fuck. Uh, then I guess the ones that don't have anything, yeah. which would be just the black ones. Okay, so it's everything though. That's weird. Um, and then, oh yeah, and then the signature technique card, the one with the gold. Okay, so we're taking how many of each? One of each of the advanced. There's techniques. only one. Because oh. these are just simple, simple ones. I am so confused, you guys. I am sorry in advance. You win. Each of the three advanced cards. Yeah, so basically this is like your each character has their super. This yeah. is this is your super, Kay. I guess. And then we just choose the one of each of our, our guys. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Alright. I made it better. Yay, thank you. Okay. How's that? So, so I got those three and I got those three. And now I add them to this one or the separate? No clue. Cool. On it. Okay. Um, so you have three separate stacks of cards composed of four cards each. Uh, one for each of your benches. I have How? not enough of that. Okay. Hold on. 
A what? One each of the three advanced technique cards. Yeah. Yes, got that. Yeah. And the signature technique card, which is the gold border. Okay, so the one without the color, color border at all? Are, are there anything without a border? Yeah, everything. Well, that doesn't make any goddamn sense. So anybody played this game? Oh, man. Help. This says I should have four cards. That definitely don't. Okay, step seven. No, man. That doesn't make sense. Okay, so... Three separate stacks, but I only have three separate stacks. Can you hand me back those cards that I had you put down? The Just big ones? Yeah. Just in case I missed something. And these are all the other teams. No. No, it's not in there. I am confused. That's right. Okay, so these are the starters. They cost nothing. These are the crazy important ones. What the what the what? Okay, so someone else needs to read this because it's not making sense to me. Okay, go for it. Or do we just pick a couple? No, but then how do you end up with the deck? Prepare the main deck for your team by taking the six basic. Um, Technique cards, i.e. the cards with the gray border, with your team's logo and shuffling them together. Put your main deck to the left of your team board. Prepare your strategy deck. If this is your first game, take one, take one of t one each, one each of the advanced technique cards, i.e. the cards that do not have a color border, and then and the signature technique card, i.e. the ones with the gold border, for each bender on your team. So you end up with one and then one of that for each those guys. One. Okay. You will now have three separate stacks of cards composed of four cards each. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, wait. Hey, no. One for each of your benders. Shuffle each of these stacks separately, creating three strategy decks. One per bender. So we'll have th three small decks. So once we get all those cards that we need, we just can't find that one. And it says the other. What the fuck? So where do the six cards come from? Should have Googled it. Yep. Should have Googled it. Should have should, definitely yeah. Googled it. Next time, you yeah. guys could also maybe play Yu Gi Oh on here. Mmm, maybe. I'm not big on the trading card games just because they're a money pit, and I was definitely more of a Pokemon and Magic the Gathering guy than I was Yu Gi Oh! But maybe. What about our old I, Magic cards? I still, yeah, I still I have Magic cards, but I gave all my Yu Gi Oh! cards to my neighbor's kid because I, I got, I didn't like that game very much. Um, I feel like there's like a discrepancy of like this shuffling here should have put more cards into these th these three. Because then, like, two, four, six, and then you'd have four, four, yeah. four, and they would all be right. Because each one would have four in them. Which cards are, <laughs> are we not figuring out? Texas Gold wants us to play Bean Boozled. Advanced technique. <laughs> we should just have Bean Boozled all the time. Just <laughs> randomly. Okay. Just. Uh -huh. How does that? You know that the one where you like you spend a little thing and you eat random jelly beans? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I would, I would totally play that. That'd be a good incentive. Yeah. No, no. How the fuck, Board. This is really entertaining, you guys. I know, I know. Maybe, maybe I should, I should start my my photo editing on my own channel, and then I'll bring everybody and just watch me edit, and then I'll you guys let us know when you guys are ready to come. To come back to this channel. At least you advertise when you're going to make a dick move. <laughs> hey, I'm all about being open uh -huh. and Openly honest. Dickish. Openly dickish. 
I was I was I was asking. I was asking. I wasn't saying. Oh sure. I was saying, what do you guys think if I just set up, set up? I just own my own channel. <laughs> Sylvia, you missed nothing. Yeah. <laughs> trying Sorry. to figure out the game. I'm trying to figure out rules that are radly written. Radly? Badly. Radly. <laughs> what do you need? You're radly written. You're a boss, man. <laughs> Set the board in the center of the table. Okay. This is just copying what they said. Okay. Basic technique cards. Yep. We got those. Oh, I feel like reading. <laughs> so, oh, there you go, sir. my lord. You guys. Yeah. Okay, this doesn't make any freaking sense. Okay, tell you what, I'm gonna flip ahead and then see if one of those cards, signature, nope, not signature technique, advanced technique cards. Is there a symbol for it? No, advanced? just not. Normal attack, pierce attack. Okay, advanced technique. Oh. Oh? Oh, okay. <laughs> So advanced technique, yeah, it's just a black frame. So that's how what do I we thought. know which ones to do? Well, that's, that's the said. thing is, like, the only way that you can make up four cards, like three stacks of four of six, well, no, four cards each, right? Yeah, four cards each. Is the only way is to take that deck you made of your first initial cards and you put them into those others. Mm -hmm. That's it. There's only one way to do that. Okay, so just Math. we'll just randomly grab one. Yes. All right. I guess since it I must it must not matter to what bender they go to. I mean, it does. Each one is assigned a bender. Right, but since you already shuffled these... I, and then you, and I unshuffled them because I'm confused as balls. Okay. Just saying. I will shuffle them back up, but, but just so that I could pull one because I thought maybe one would be special or something. I'm confused. But what I'm thinking is, like, unless unless they're <laughs> dependent on the the, uh, the bender, then th those are your four, your four each, and this is how you, you match to this guy. But since they're face down, it doesn't... I mean... Are, you, do they, are they all face up? Uh, step eight will be prepare your strategy row. Your strategy row has three slots, one for each of your strategy decks. Draw the top card and place it face up on the slot below the deck. So you, you always know which deck is which. So you'll okay. have them face down up here, one face up here. So I'm just going to pull a random one and hope I'm right, and that's how we're supposed to do this. If I'm wrong, fuck it, it's too late. Sounds good. One. I'm a bender. Hmm. You're a bender, Harry. Nope, that's a uh, fire. And then this is a thing. <laughs> Lucky Score says, just find the rules on YouTube. Yeah, we tried. But Danny should have said done ahead of time. Mm -hmm. Instead of waiting for the unboxing. But that's no fun. I want the <laughs> pure experience. All right, so that's that's a thing. Well, that's a good idea. Uh, Qualtion says, hey, hi, have you ever thought of letting Cucumber Chung explain how to play board games on oh. FE YouTube? That would be fun. Tabletop. Kind of thing. What's FE? For, for example. Oh, for, for example. example. Ah. <laughs> that, was ah. New, that new kid lingo. <laughs> Gosh. That's yeah, a good idea. Yeah. We, like this, so people can not be Danny. Or, no, this, I mean, they would have. Yeah, Danny didn't go on you, so it wouldn't matter if there were. It's completely scoped. But yes. No, that would be fun. That would be a good idea. We're, actually, right. we're looking for things to do on, on YouTube and on Facebook YouTube. soon. So. That sounds like a good idea. So now we shuffle this into a deck, all of these. That's what we're supposed sure. to do. Sure. I already shuffled it, so. All right, I'll just shuffle mine again. This, I'm going to lose these. These suck. I mean, you can use beans, pennies, whatever for that. I know, but they, they made such an effort. By giving you a cardboard punch out? Yeah. At least hey, games I, before my crazy mini games is all cardboard I, punch. At least I like these better than like the little sliders because those will ruin all the cardboard after yeah. a while. So. I like that. I like that. Okay. I think we have a thing started. A thing? Oh, like a handle on this? I Maybe. Sort of. All right, <laughs> so then... <laughs> I don't. Yeah, one of these goes up. Okay, so this is happening. Uh, started, did that. Three cards from your main deck to form your starting hand. Leave space to the right of your team board for a discard pile. Hey. Ten. Whoever most recently watched an episode of Korra or Avatar, that's me, as a start player. Alternatively, you can uh, play a quick game of Earth, Water, Fire, which is <laughs> remarkably similar to the better known game of Rock, Paper, Scissors to determine the start player. I love this. Uh, if you're the start player, if you're the start player, choose which side of the double-sided elemental and hold tokens you want to. Oh, okay. Choose which side of the double-sided. Okay. So the, all all these things. There's a light and a dark side. 
So I'll be dark side because I'm red, I guess. Okay. Well, it's just so like if it's on the board, you, oh, know that, you know that this one would be mine. This one would be yours. Wow, that's barely a color change to me. Yeah, okay. I see. <laughs> okay. Interesting. That's how you save money on extra pieces. Mm. Hey, thank you for the cheers, Benjamin. Um, all cheers and donations uh, today are going towards our good friend Goobs, who is uh, going through a tough uh, medical time right now. So, uh, hey, thank you for being generous and we appreciate it. Um, um, what's up? I wonder if that should just kind of be up on the little thing. This an explanation? An explanation. So sure. when people come up. Hey, Ranger Girl. Welcome back. The keyboard's over there. Yes, it is. If you're the start player, set your <laughs> chi marker on the two position. Ooh. You're not the start. You get three. Woo! Your opponent sets their chi marker to the three space. The chi track has a maximum of eight chi. If yes. you ever have an excess of eight chi, place your marker on eight. Any extra chi is lost. <gasps> you're not ready to play. Oh, my God. Win conditions. You win the game in one of four ways. Oh, I thought you said wind conditions. <laughs> It's hey, a... Ranger Girl's here. <laughs> Ranger Girl says hi. I know, I said hi to her. Okay, You're just late. okay. No reason to get snarky. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. <laughs> Could you grab me a cider, sir? No. Would you like Ryan to be can. a wolf guy? Ryan, can you grab me a cider? Me too, please. What, what flavor? Whatever. All right. <laughs> I ain't no picky. <laughs> They'll all be imbibed, I'm certain. Okay, so you can win if. Thank you for the cider blossom. I'm just kidding, I can't do that. I've seen people do it and it I know. terrifies me every time. Okay. My ex girlfriend used to do it. There you go. Oh. oh. I know, this is the fun one. Okay. Uh, so if you knock all of your opponent's benders out of the arena, you win immediately. If the referee calls the match, see page 21. Oh, I'll do that right now, just so that I know what the hell they're talking about later. Can I be referee? Can you guys give me a whistle? Yeah. But you're gonna have to talk like this. <laughs> That's not true. That's the announcer, not the referee. The referee is just a dude. They were low on staff, so they just the same guy. Hey, thank you for the cheers. Did we say that? Do we already think for the cheers? Yes. Yes. Cherry flavored beer? No. <laughs> so cider. Beyond, this is cider. This is a rose apple from the Rose apple. Yeah. And then he got some Mine cherry, is cherry blossom. blossom. Mine's like a flower. I'm very excited about <laughs> <laughs> right. Hooray. 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 Okay. How'd you guys meet up so early? <laughs> well, Danny kind of threw this on us. I... Last... <laughs> <laughs> None of that is true. <laughs> oh, no. He slapped us together last minute. So I was like, well, I guess I'll I'm free. Somebody. I guess I'll cancel my plans. Okay. I would have been sleeping. <laughs> you also win if the referee... Nobody wants to be here. <laughs> But well, we're here now, so. Oh, that's not it. You want this one? That's, why is it so far away? Oh, oh, fine. You get to have it. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah I'm, you do it. I'm You're the Streamlabs guy. You should also be a rules guy. True. What's this one do? That's that um, one. Yeah. So you got to learn that's first. That thing. one. All right. If the referee. So there's all this stuff about that's the referee. The same one. Shit. See page 21. That one. See page 21. See page did, 21. I make, did I make them the same? These two are the same. Fuck. <laughs> Okay, Art needs to make a, a Foot Locker run to pick up a striped shirt if he's going to ref. <laughs> Ranger Girl, you've played this game before. <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay, so if we get we lost, need help. you've got to keep us honest, okay? So I'm, I'm looking up the referee stuff. Oh, there it is. They gave you the wrong page. It says for referee stuff, see page 21, and it's on page 19. That's why I couldn't find <laughs> it. Okay, so referee calls the match. If the match ends because the referee ends the match, the winner is determined by the following criteria in order from top to bottom. If at least one of your benders is in a space on your opponent's side of the arena board, congratulations, you win the match. If neither team has advanced past the midline, the player with the most benders still in play wins. If you are still tied, the player who has the momentum token wins the match. And in the extremely rare case that you are tied, play, uh, neither player has the momentum token. The game ends in a true draw. A true draw. A true draw. A true draw. Cool. All right, Ranger, so we're, we're counting on you because this is confusing. So the, the die is the referee. Yes, so that's the referee die. Yellow fan tokens. I'm guessing. I'm guessing. I don't know. Why am I guessing? I don't even guess. Well, from this perspective, it looks like the disc game 
of Tron, uh, this game of Tron at the moment. Mm. I'd play that. It's actually pretty similar. If you ever watch the show, I mean, <laughs> you're occupying the same space and you're trying to push people off of the thing. The only difference is the floor isn't coming out from you. But there even are little discs, if you can see them. Sylveon asked the question and then answered it himself in his own question. <laughs> yes, ah. why I was wearing a picnic cloth. I know it's spring, but why? Oh, it's, it's spring. Picnic. Thank you. Pick picnic basket. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> cool. Alright, so turn sequence. Your turn is divided into four phases, which you must play through in order. One, two, keep focused. Advance your chi oh, marker yeah, by one. No, no, focused, no it's sorry. fictional. It's part of the mechanic. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't have to say that. real focus. <laughs> two, play hard. You play a technique card from your hand for chi or for actions. For chi. Repeat for each technique card in your hand. So you play your entire hand, I guess. So then why the fuck do these happen? I'm confused. Um, oh, damn it. Sorry, <laughs> I'm learning the buttons. Okay, I got it. <laughs> so it's like, keep focus, you three. Nope. <laughs> uh, Geek Nick. Geek Nick. I don't know that one. Geek Nick. Geek Nick. Oh, Geek Nick. Geek Nick basket. <laughs> Um, <laughs> check hits. Oh, thanks, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> we could do a loot crate unboxing. Hey. hey, you want me to? Yeah, why not? Oh, is this the one that I didn't it's get? It's the D&D &D one, yeah. Uh, the big one, the big one has, uh, has a, a sweatshirt in it. Yeah, a hoodie. Oh, I like it in the big ones. I and the big one, one. The, this next month has a whole bunch of stuff that I like in it, so I'm probably going to get it. Because it's got, like, Lord of the Rings, it's got D&D, &D, it's got... Zelda, I think, and something else. So it's like all stuff that I would actually enjoy. Because I think my problem with the last box was that it didn't. That was the only thing I was going to care about. Mm. <gasps> no, why? How? No, oh, that's what Ryan spit on my car. <laughs> uh, in the meantime, uh, Ryan just says, "No, you don't have. You don't play the entire hand." Mm. Oh yeah, it says hey, play John a Day. technique card from your So hand. Um, real quick, you want to tell me again what, what we're raising money for today while I figure out how to put it up on the stream? Certainly. More distractions. <laughs> More distractions. Um, but real quick, um, so once again, we're all gathering here today both to thank all of you guys for sending us such cool stuff like our, our lights and specifically these two board games, uh, pho uh, Photosynthesis and Drop Mix sent from Vegan Power Ranger. Uh, and made us want to showing up to the everything. Yeah, all this stuff like sharing, telling your friends, showing up, hanging out. That's the whole point. But this this whole stream it's for you guys. We want to show off some of the stuff that that you guys have have brought our way. Um, but also everything that we're raising today specifically is going to our friend Goobs, um, who's been supporting us since pretty much the beginning, and we're trying to support him back. He's going through some some heavy medical stuff right now, um, which is um, he's he's a fan of uh, Blue Lantern, which is why there's some Blue Lantern theming going on across our overlay. Um, basically, we're, we're trying to pay for the kindness that all of you guys have shown to us. Um, I know we're, we're dicks most of the time, but we're, we're not <laughs> assholes, as, as they say. Um, so we're, we're really Who's looking that? out for him. Huh? Who says? Star-Lord! It's a good quote. It's one of my favorites. Might be dicks, but we're not assholes. Yeah. Or no, no. We may be assholes, but we're not complete dicks. Oh. That's what it is. Sorry. He I misquoted. up his own quote. I did. <laughs> Texas Gold just said I reminded him of the son in Caddyshack, <laughs> telling what people uh, people what he wants from the concession stand. Also, hey John JBJ, sorry again that we didn't bump into you at uh, at uh, no, WonderCon. No, you don't play your entire hand. Good to know. Okay, the reason I thought that I thought that was because it says play hard is play a technique card from your hand for chi or for actions, and then repeat for each technique card in your hand. So that repeat is what made me think that we we're playing all of them. So I just didn't understand the language there. Uh, turn sequence, step three. Uh, designation, Sky Bison to the rescue! Yay! <laughs> nope, that's more sand person. <laughs> I love Sky Bison. Um, check hits. If any of your benders are in a space with your opponent's elemental tokens, they are knocked back. Uh, then remove all of your opponent's tokens from the arena. Uh, okay. Stay sharp is step four. You may spend chi to add new technique cards from your strategy row to the top of your main deck. Ah, okay, that's cool. So that's where these come into play. Okay. So you can spend chi, which is on your tracker here, right, to add new technique cards from your strategy row to the top of your main deck. Add face-up technique card to the strategy row. Draw a new hand of three cards. So at the end of your turn, you always draw up three cards. So do you only play... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know yet. 
Okay, so the cost the cost of your cards is in the top right. So it's whatever you can afford. So you right. can you can play as many as you can afford, I'm guessing. Um I'm not sure. Um John JB says, Did you see the guy run with Kermit the Frog? I saw pictures of him. I didn't actually see him out on the floor. I've seen him at Comic Con before, but I did not see him there to this year. Yeah. The active bender. Oh wait, there's more things. Yes, there is. So more keep focus things. So at the start of your turn, always advance your chi marker to the chi track chi track one position. Chi -track. Remember that you can have a maximum of eight chi. Oh, on the chi. Yeah. Cool. Yes. So every time you'll gain one. Next, yeah. you will play all of the technique cards in your hand. That's what it says. One at a time until you have no cards left. So then, yeah. One at a time until yeah. you have no cards left. Yeah, but you're still and playing you all of them. Back up. Right. Yeah, but that's what I said. So you do play them all. Bryce's fixing things. That's why things are changing. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. Okay. There we go. So when okay. you when you play a technique it. card, place it face up in front of you. You have two options when you play a card. You may use it for chi. When you play a card for chi, chi. immediately advance your chi marker by one and then put the card in your discard pile. Okay. Chi can be spent to buy new technique cards later in your turn. See, so you stay sharp. Which is step four. For actions. When you play a card for actions, you activate the bender that card belongs to. That bender oh. becomes the active bender and performs the actions shown on that card. I want to do that. I'm not listening. All technique cards. <laughs> fuck. All technique cards. We cuss a lot on this channel. I think we have our little marker up, but just in case. I apologize, we, but that's just we, how we talk. We, we is not a thing. This is mainly you. It's an insurance buffer because I'm present. True. Um, all technique cards have a unique name at the top. You, an element. I thought you were licking it. I was about to punch you. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> hey, five bro. Hey. Hello, hello. We're busting out all the new games. We're gonna do this. Then we're gonna do Azul. Then we're gonna do photosynthesis. And then we're gonna do drop mix. We're gonna play all the things today. You guys ready? We're ready. Yeah. yeah. To be as instrumental as I've ever been. As instrumental? Oh no. <laughs> what? We're mature? No. Family Night Shit says, I want to play this in my Korra cosplay. Just say, I'm the Avatar. You got to deal with it. <laughs> That's a part. Oh, man. Anyway. Yeah. I love, I love that <laughs> so much. Okay. Um, okay. All technique cards have a unique name at the top. An elemental symbol. Okay. So, unique name. There's your name. Unique name. Uh, unique. An elemental symbol. Top left. Water. Yeah. Water bender. That's a water tribe right there. Oh, my um, gosh. That's a betrothal necklace design, if I ever did see one. Action area shows what the active bender does, which is all this. So that's like a movement, a thingy, and a more thingies, which all those thingies are in the back of the other card. Yes. Chi cost is in the top right. So this is what things cost. Note that the gray border basic cards have a zero chi cost, so those are free. Woo! <laughs> oh, John JBJ, you played Azul. You played it last week. I'm jealous. I got it a while, a, a bit ago. So I had, I had to wait for the second wave of the game to come out. So I got it, and then I figured I'll save it for today because it's so pretty. I want to play. Did you like it? Did you enjoy it? Oh no, he says pretty awesome. awesome. So yeah, I should read all of them. Yeah, things. read the entire thing before you speak up. Bitch. <laughs> 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 all right. Uh, all right, the active bender is the one that is named on the technique card. Easy enough. I will just skip that. That's the person who does the things that it says on the card. Oh, hey. Using what? A green. Oh, my God. The both of you are <laughs> strangling. Remember when I said when I have nothing to do? Here, just roll this die a lot. <laughs> <laughs> when you play a technique so card, much. you can use the icons in the... Okay, you're done. <laughs> You can use the actions in the, uh, the, fuck. When you play a technique card, you yes. can use the icons in the action area going from the left to the right, top to bottom. The icons that make up the action area are described below. You must use all of the icons in the action area uh, you are using if possible, except any modifiers, which are always optional. So which is the modifier? Check my little figure. I don't know what a modifier looks like. Quaiton asks, was just thinking about what Chunk and Cucumber could cosplay as. Cucumber as the Hulk and Chunk as Blue Beetle. That would be dope. Would also fit the same universe and team up. That would be dope. <laughs> that would be cute. <laughs> you know Blue Beetle? Mm -mm. You'd like Blue Beetle. Yeah. You should check him out. He's sweet. The newer Blue Beetle. Not the original. The original is kind of me. 
Um, okay, so, so I don't know what a modifier looks like. This is my problem. I'm glad everyone's dancing and helping. <laughs> How many books do we have to look at? Just one. So what do you want us to do? Let me take over. Uh, no, I'm good. Oh, okay, then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out. Oh, well, it says the modifiers are optional, but I don't know what the modifiers are because there's no little pointy thing pointing at it. Um, next time, the next time we do this, I'll look up all the games first. That. And also, we should just, have a, we should like just have a Mario Kart tournament going on in the background. Right? To keep people entertained. Don't know. I'm just being ignored now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, did you say something? Uh, <laughs> Icky <laughs> dances and helps. Yay. Uh, Thanks, everyone, for hanging out. <laughs> Appreciate it. Uh, oh, so the reason why we don't have any uh, any notification noises is because I didn't put the alert box up. Oh, I see. Oh, hey, oh, also, right. thank you, donators. We're now up to $20. Which, thank you so much, which means we definitely missed some things. So... Thank you, thank, thank you, you, thank so you, much. thank you. Appreciate it. Um, and again, so. these donations are not coming to us today. They're going to our friend Goobs, who's having um, some 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 health problems. So we're trying to take care of him as best we can. We're just trying to help. Do you? Hmm? Do you? Do you, you, you want to make another scene with the webcam so we can do close-ups of like the cards and stuff when we're talking about stuff? Sure. Yay. Okay. Action area icons. Okay, here we go. Now we're going through definition stuff. So the foot is move, that's easy. One space within the zone. A bender can only cross into adjacent spaces and may not cross metal lines and into a different zone. These are those metal lines, you can't cross these, but I can go boop, boop. A bender can enter a space occupied by other benders of the same team. If the technique card shows a move icon, the active bender must move if possible. Or if there are ho excuse me, sorry. Gross. Whatever. Uh, or if there are hold tokens in the same space as the active bender, move, uh, the one move icon cancels one hold token. Remove the hold token from the arena, uh, and a bender cannot move out of a space containing a hold token. See hold. So I'll figure out what the hold is later. I'm guessing it's this one? This one, probably. That's probably what the feet are then. Block. Uh, remove a number of your opponent's elemental tokens from the space occupied by the active bender equal to the number on the shield. A way... What? Okay, so it's basically so if I threw three flames at somebody, mm -hmm. <laughs> I like that you're pretending to listen. That's adorable. <laughs> uh, and then I had a shield on my on my action card like so. So this one has one on it. Then I would be able to take one of these away, and then these would hit me and whatnot. Uh, Ch Chunk would love to have a Power Ranger costume mm. uniform. It's Avatar and Power Rangers. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, bending. Bending is the art of manipulating the elements. Um, in pro bending, competitors use their bending powers to attack their opponents and protect themselves. Attacks. When you attack, place elemental tokens, which are these little fiery things, uh, fire, water, and earth, which I'm guessing are these disc tokens here. Um, boop, boop, boop. Uh, an attempt to knock back the opposing team while defending your own benders. Attacks have a range, shown in the black arrow. Black arrow. So the range here is one. Right. Oh, that's the range. So the range on this one is three. Then I don't know what that one is. I'll get there. To attack, you first pick a space within the range of the active bender. Then place the indicated number of elemental tokens uh, that match the active bender's element in that space. Uh, range is always between one space and the number shown in the black arrow. Uh, do, do, do. So an attack with range of one can only target a space adjacent to the space the bender is currently in, while a range of three can target a space of one, two, or three spaces away. Range is determined by counting adjacent spaces, starting from the space the active bender currently occupies and ending in the target space. Yep. So diagonally speaking, Oh, okay, so even diagonal spaces. In a lot of games like this, like diagonal counts as two, but in this one, this would still be one. That's still adjacent. Adjacent enough, I guess. Or unless that's a range. You're in charge of chat. Range right? one. Sorry, no. I am? Okay, yeah. that's fine. Chat's a little quiet at the moment. 
Hey, Cody. Welcome. Yeah, I haven't looked up in a bit. Hey, everybody. Yeah, Did we're trying to figure out how to... Give you a better experience. We're trying, yeah, we're trying to give you a experience, and Danny's trying to figure out how to play this game. <laughs> there they are. Not that one. Yeah. Well, we read it out loud as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's better. It's good. It was good when we were doing that doing the other stream. Okay, because so it helped out. We'll have to fix that. Cause... Dude, Cody, you're not even late. We haven't even started playing the first game yet. <laughs> we're going through the rules still. Uh, adjacency, spread, and token annihilation. There are a few general rules that apply to all bending. Adjacency. Any two spaces that touch along an edge or at a corner are adjacent. For example, the spaces at the midline that are diagonal to each other, like these, are adjacent. Spread. All attacks must obey two spread rules. You may not place elemental tokens in a space occupied by the active bender. You may not place elemental tokens in a space containing any elemental tokens that you control that match the active bender's element. So basically you can't double and triple things up. Okay, Stacy, you got it. Ranger girl is Stacy. Stacy. Hello, Stacy. The tick? Quaiton just says the tick. I don't know why. I like the tick. Spoon! But I don't I don't know. Oh oh, costumes. John JVJ is saying Chunk can cosplay as the tick and cucumber can be dinosaur Neil. Dinosaur Neil? I don't know if I know Dinosaur Neil. Token Annihilation! Is there any more USB ports back there, Ryan? USB ports? Yeah. yeah when you place elemental tokens in a space occupied by your opponent's elemental tokens, these tokens annihilate each other. You must remove an equal number of both players' tokens until one or both teams no longer have any of the elemental tokens remaining in that space. Okay, does that look like a thing? <laughs> so the hand says, every time I hear Bender, I think Futurama. That's good. That's a good that's a good joke. I like that joke. Bling! It's falling off. Bum, ba, da, bum, bum, yeah, bum. all the sounds and stuff are already set up. Lovely. Wow. Thanks for your money. <laughs> Good. We're set up to Hooray! To make those two extra scenes with the with the webcam. Yeah. So, in place of in place of the um of the overhead cam. In place of. Mm -hmm. so all right. The overhead cam anymore? Normal no, no, attack. Do, circle so outline. Normal attack. Follow all see, the, see, see, see. with per people and close up. So cam. two of these with like the switches. Yeah. And then yeah. Mm -hmm. the capture, I see. So normal attacks. I'm confused. They don't okay. man the webcam for right now. Cora uses high tide, which has two attack, range of one, and a power of two. So power is in the white circle. Range of one, power of two. She wants to annihilate the wolf bats tokens in Mako's space so he doesn't get knocked back, but she has to decide between the fire tokens and the earth token. She decides to use it to annihilate two wolf bat fire tokens in Mako's zone, so those tokens come off the board and her tokens don't need to get placed. So... I wonder, can you split them, or do you have to choose one or the other? No, you, no, you can choose one or the other. Uh, Sivan said, was that a host reel or, or a test? These were all tests oh, okay. just now. <laughs> Ryan was working on making those those uh, alerts show up so we didn't miss them. I don't make them. Nope. Pierce attack has the burst outline, so it looks like a little seal, little star thing. Um, piercing attacks can penetrate your opponent's defenses and ignore their elemental tokens. Pierce attacks follow all the normal attack rules, range, adjacency, and spread, except token annihilation when you are uh, when you place your elemental tokens. Your opponent is able to use token annihilation against these tokens on their turn, however. Okay. So, two water tokens, however, there's one fire token controlled by the wolf bats in a space. Since Korra is using a pierce attack, no token annihilation occurs when the water tokens are placed. Okay, so a lot of these things are going to cancel each other out before they make it through to the other vendor. That's what this is all about. Modifiers. Modifiers add uh, effects to an attack. You may choose whether or not to apply any modifiers after the attack icon is executed. So, okay, so yeah, those modifiers are, like Ryan thought, those, those little things bridging off to the side. Um, oh, okay. So, modifiers uh, add effects to an attack. You may choose whether or not to apply any modifiers after the attack icon ex is executed. Um. 
It's <laughs> <laughs> alright, goobs, man. Two hours midday Thursday is extremely inconvenient for us all. Eh. Do what you gotta do. Modifiers can only be added to a successful attack. If you do not control any tokens in a space that you attacked, you cannot apply a modifier there. Modifiers cannot be used without an attack icon. So hold. So the hold token, that's the feat. Um, hold. You may choose to put a hold token in the target space. When a bender in a space with a hold token tries to perform a move ability, they remove the hold token instead. Additional move abilities would then allow that bender to move as normal. So if I put one here for Ryan's guy, he had two movement. First movement would be getting rid of the hold. Second movement would be moving. Okay. Um, you can remember all this? Um, so far, it's, it's simple. It's just they're using really roundabout ways of explaining what these do. Mm. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> okay, fiber flower power, you, you enjoy that. She was going on to catch up on, on past Perception Check episodes. <laughs> it's cool. We'll be playing games for a while, so... Yeah, good. we're going to be hanging out for a while. Mm. I love games too, Stacy. Follow-ups. Some water technique cards have a follow-up attack that allows you to place additional elemental tokens in one or two spaces adjacent to the space targeted by an attack or a follow-up. Follow-ups have a power value that determines... Oh, fuck. Okay, so that's like this. This this exact card. Flow as water. So place the indicated number of elemental tokens in one space adjacent to the space targeted by the preceding attack or follow-up. Jesus. Okay. So three would go... If I was attacking with Korra here, three would go to one space adjacent. Or no, actually, I could go up to three away. So say I chose... Oh, one... Whatever. Two. Or one. One. One here. So put three here. Okay. And then the follow-up would be adjacent to this. So I could put one here and one here, or, one, or like, so three here, one here, three here, one here, three here, one here. So it's, it, it rebounds a little bit. Rebound. All right, stream switcher man, you can do your things. Yes. Hey guys, we have a close-up camera now. Ooh. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. Wait, check out these minis, though. I'm gonna face them all your way, guys, because they're beautiful. Look at those! Look at those angles! Look at those wow. poses! They're gorgeous. Follow up two adjacent spaces, so the exact same thing. You can just hit two of them. I know you know exactly what's going on. I'll remember. You're fine. Good. So the cheat track, team board breakdown. Cheat track is on the left. We know that. <laughs> team. Every team has a unique ability. So your unique ability is days. Hey. Um, mine is counter bend. So it says what it does. But let's see. Uh, so first, so mine counter bend says first you can target any space with your opponent's tokens matching the active bender's element and flip them to your side, so I can take control of whatever you throw at me. Hmm, that's nice. Then you may move the stack one adjacent space from its original position following spread and token annihilation <laughs> rules, so I can take it and redirect it to you. Very bendery, good mechanic, guys. Who created? Bully likes my camera moves, my my my, my camera pans. Mm. Mm. Wow, wow. I haven't figured out how to use uh, transitions in Streamlabs OBS yet, so it's like it's everything's cut. That's fine. Yeah. I, st I, th I still think we're doing fine. I think, yeah. we're, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. <laughs> we're okay. <laughs> well, I never said we weren't. Nobody said we weren't. Whoa, hey, whoa, oh, whoa, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, <laughs> Jeez. Okay. So yellow fans and fouling out. Fouling out. Some techniques and tricks in advanced play have a yellow fan icon at the end of their action area. This means that the technique breaks the rules of pro bending. How dare. Foul. That's not cool. Don't be a dick. This is totally like my, my third grade soccer coach. Huh? He's like, yeah, just kick him when the ref's not looking. Yellow fan. Uh, after you have completed all the other actions on a technique card with a yellow fan icon, roll the referee die. If the die shows a yellow fan, you put one yellow fan token in the active bender status er area on your team board. If that bender already has a yellow fan token there, the bender has fouled, fouled out. If a bender receives uh, a second yellow fan token, remove their miniature from the arena board. So you'll be placing those fans if you get them on the faces of your guys here. Okay. <clears throat> um, doo -doo -doo. Uh, remember strategy, uh, so if a bender receives a second yellow fan token, remove their miniature from the arena board, strategy deck, and any of their cards that are in your strategy row from the game. Return all tokens from their status area to the supply. Do not remove any of their cards from your main deck. 
Do not gain chi for losing the bender. Um, team unique abilities. We talked about that briefly. Every pro bending team will have a unique abil team ability icon. These abilities will be indicated on bender's technique cards, the same as a normal technique icon. Twitching out, man. I'm just wiggling my leg. Wiggling, wiggling. These abilities will be indicated on Bender's Technique cards, the same as a normal Technique icon. The core game features the Daze ability, uh, so yeah, yours has the Daze ability, and the Counter Bend hey. ability displayed by the Wolf Bats and the Fire Ferrets. Wolf Bats. Description of team abilities are provided below and on team boards. So yours, you may choose one Bender in the space targeted by the attack you just completed who is not already dazed. Place a Daze token on that Bender's status area of their team board. A dazed bender ignores the first ability or attack icon plus any modifiers or follow-ups to that attack on the next technique card they use for actions. So, for instance, if he dazed me and I played okay, this again, I wouldn't get to move, but I would get to do these. Okay. So I'd, I'd, I'd skip whatever that first action was, and if there was more than one action, hmm. um, then you'd just continue through. Counterbend. Choose any one space. We talked about that. That's just redirection. Check hits. After you've used all the technique cards in your hand, you must check if any of your benders have been hit by your opponent's attacks. Check for hits zone by zone, starting with your zone C and continuing towards your zone... What? Starting with your, your zone C and continuing towards your opponent's zone C by following these steps. So wait, so this is C and that's C? Sure. Okay. Naku's here. Hi, Naku. Hey, Naku. I think Danny's got an avatar boner. <laughs> <laughs> Quaitan says, if this game would be based on the movie, you would need a lot more people on the board for one simple action. Ooh! That is the worst film freaking out. Not, not ever. There's a lot of bad movies, but it's real bad. My last Airbender movie is garbage. But this show is really nice. It's a good time. <laughs> <laughs> That's like... <laughs> <laughs> Stacy says, "Ew!" And seriously, every time I hear Bender, I think of a bad bartender. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, so check hits. Blah, 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 blah. Look at each space containing your opponent's elemental tokens. Uh, if the space has no benders on it, remove your opponent's tokens from that space. If a space with your opponent's tokens also has one or more of your benders in it, they are hit. Benders suffer one hit for each of your opponent's elemental tokens in their space. If you have multiple benders in a space occupied by your opponent's elemental tokens, all those benders suffer the full, suffer the full number of hits. The full. Okay, so if I had... These guys were here, and you had a bunch of tokens here of yours, right. both of these guys would get hit. <clears throat> okay. Which is probably why you want to start them spread out. Area of attack. Yeah. For each hit your bender suffers, you must move your miniature back one zone Ooh. towards your own zone C. Your bender moves into any space in that zone of your choice, even into a space already occupied by your own benders. The space you move to does not have to be adjacent to the one the bender moved out of. Okay, that's kind of cool. So if I get knocked back, I could choose to get knocked back here, I guess? Mm -hmm. That's kind of neat. It allows you to re-strategize when you come back. Um, knockouts. A bender who gets knocked out beyond zone C is knocked out. Right. Um, place a miniature in the water area around the outside of the arena arena board. This bender is now out of play. Remove their strategy deck and any of their cards in your strategy row from the game. Return all tokens from their status area to the supply. Do not remove any of their cards from your main deck. They can still be used for chi for the remainder of the game. Each time one of your benders is knocked out, you can advance your chi marker by three. Remember, you can only have a maximum of eight chi. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. So each time they get knocked out, you gain three chi. So it allows you to rebound pretty quickly. Three chi. Give the momentum token to your opponent to place on their team board. Uh, the momentum token is this. This. Okay. Nope. Bad idea. On their team board. Um, I mean, you don't get it now, but there it is. <laughs> Naku says, he, he that shall not be named should still be on timeout for that movie. <laughs> oh, Sylveon. Let's just make sure not to bend the rules. Wow. <laughs> Quaitan, remember the bad Dragon Ball movie? Did you know there are worse, there's a worse Dragon Ball movie that is called Monkey or Monkey Boy and that Netflix will release a new show called The New Legends of Monkey? What? Hmm. I did see that Dragon Ball movie, but I didn't know about any of that. It's real bad. It's real bad. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
Line advance. Oh, if all three of your benders have been knocked out, you lose the game immediately. So the other way is if all your, your benders get knocked out by right. ref calls, which happens this way. I do like that there's a random <laughs> mason, because it's like, did the ref see it, or did the ref not see it? It's huh. cute. Um, Icky Bully says, fun fact, I own the Avatar movie because I never return it to a blockbuster kiosk. Well, you don't have to worry about that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Teehee. Line advance. After applying knockbacks and knockouts, if there is at least one completely empty zone between the bender that is furthest forward on your team and the furthest forward on your opponent's team, your opponent immediately makes a line advance. To make the line advance, first remove all tokens from the arena board. Then your opponent moves all of their benders into that zone that is adjacent to the zone, into the zone that is adjacent to the zone occupied by your bender who is furthest forward. Your opponent chooses which spaces in that zone to place each of their benders. This may put more than one bender in the same space. So even though these guys are all spread out, they're able to all jump forward to this line. Gotcha. And the line advance. So that's during, <clears throat> after knockbacks and knockouts. If there's only if there's a clean line. Hmm. So like even if so if these guys are way the hell back here, but there's still somebody here. Nothing. But if he's here, and we do our knockbacks and knockouts, then you guys can all move forward hmm. and however you like. Okay. Um, after your opponent makes a line advance, you give the momentum token to your opponent to place on their team board. You may move your benders to any space within the zone that they are currently that they currently occupy without having to play any cards. Then take an additional turn at the end of your current turn. After this extra turn, play passes to your opponent. Hi, De Herstrom. Hey, welcome. Stay sharp. This phase has several steps that you must perform in order. Put the three technique cards that you played on your turn into a discard pile at the right of your team board. You gain technique cards. You draw back up. Gain technique cards from your strategy row that are not covered by any of the cards. You must reduce your chi by the amount shown in the top right corner of each card you gain. Okay, so you have, you have, that's when you pay pay your chi to get one of these, and mm. then they'll go on top of your deck I see. to be used in the next turn. Um, when you gain a new technique card put on top of your main deck, you may gain as many techniques as you can pay chi for during this phase. You must pay the full amount of chi shown on a card to gain it, and you cannot go below zero chi to gain a card. Ah. When you gain a technique <coughs> card, you may reveal cards that were hidden beneath it. You may immediately gain the revealed card if you have sufficient chi remaining. So if I were to purchase this for two, and say I still had more chi, I'd flip that over. If I could afford it, I could also buy that. Okay. So the store stays in play. Um, update strategy yeah. row. We allow links, right? Yeah. Yeah. You, as long as it's not gross and awful. No, they're going to put the, the YouTube link to that monkey show trailer. Do it. Yeah, do it. Post it. Uh, move your banners. Your links banders. are allowed until somebody abuses it. True. So far, it hasn't come up. Give the man to share. So, what are these three cards you have in front of you here? It's my hand. So, I'll start with a hand of three. So, I, from your other card? Okay. Yeah, from that deck. Um, when you gain a technique card, you may reveal. Yeah, we did that. Update strategy row or check game end. Whenever you gained any cards in step two, you must draw the top card from one of your remaining strategy decks, which are these three piles. Right. Um, and place it face up in the strategy row slot b below that deck, possibly covering up a technique card that was already in your strategy row. Oh. What? <laughs> oh, whether or not you gained any cards, you have to draw the top card and put it down. So it's like, if I really wanted this, that sucks because I won't be getting it because it's mm. going to get buried. I see. So at the end of that step, you'll always be flipping these over. Hmm. And then you'll have to dig your way down to these cards. Gotcha. Okay. Um, remember, it is impossible to gain a covered card until you gain the card on top of it. If there are no cards remaining in all of your strategy decks, when it is time to update your strategy row, you must see if the game ends. Roll the referee die. If you roll a yellow fan, the referee immediately ends the game. Uh, otherwise, keep playing. Uh, and then you refill your hand. You draw cards from your main deck until you have three cards in your hand. If you ever need to draw a card but cannot because there are no cards left in your main deck, follow these steps in order. You may remove one card in your discard pile from the game. Then shuffle your discard pile and create a new main deck. Continue drawing cards until you have three in your hand. Pass play. If you just suffered a line advance, see line advance on page 18, then take another turn. Otherwise, play passes to your opponent. So you go back and forth until someone gets knocked out. And I think we're good. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and say that both Avatar movies are not as good as the Avatar show. <laughs> Neither Avatar movies. Agreed. Yeah, that cartoon is better than either. 
by far. All right, so I'm going first. What are we gonna play? Yeah. Nice. He's gonna play. Oh my He's gosh. gonna play, you guys. He's read all the rules. I kind Doesn't of mean we know them, him. so we're keeping that rule book handy. <laughs> so sorry, we might be reading some of these things again because mm. I don't retain things that easily. Um. <laughs> He's like, you just make a bonfire from that movie. But you know who couldn't? Their versions of firebenders who couldn't make their own fucking fire. <laughs> Still mad about that. It's like, oh, we need braziers everywhere we go. Uh, okay. Okay. So I'm going to do things. I hope so. Oh, I'm not going to do things very well. So my only... Oh, I see. So you have to... You're, you only advance if your whole team advances. That's what I was saying. So you, you can't just cross these these barriers. Uh-huh. Okay, if you want to show something, that's a good spot to show. Ah. Cool. Is it in focus? I can't tell. It's not in focus. You're not in focus. Well, right. close enough. Ha. So, it's the start of my turn, so I gain one chi. Chi. So I, I go up. Actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to flip this over right now, just so that you can see what the turn things are. It's not in camera oh, right now. That's not, that's not there anymore. Oh, it's not going to work. It's too close. So I forgot about this part. Okay. Good, because I need it. I was just using it for focusing. Wait. Does it really not? It doesn't have turn order on here. No, it doesn't. I thought it would be on the back. Nope. All right. Let me look at that again. Sorry. I mean, the turn order is pretty simple. Example turn, page 15. Can you read the chips, Ryan? Can you send me a chips? These pages are all wrong. Your table of context is the table of context does not match the pages in this rule book. Okay. Okay, turn sequence. I'll leave that part open. Mm. So keep focused. You advance your chi marker by one. Did that. Step two play hard. Play a technique card from your hand for chi or for actions. Um, and then repeat for each technique card in your hand. So I have to play all three of these. Or, if I don't want to play all three of these, I can sacrifice one to gain more chi in order to, say, purchase some of these. Um, so if they're already in your hand, you don't need to worry, waste chi on them to use them out there. Right. Cool. Well, wait. Yeah? No. Yeah? No. Yeah. No. What's Ranger Girl's number? Name? Huh? Ranger Girl's name. Stacy. Ah, uh, yeah, Stacy. <laughs> we agree. Okay. We agree with you. All right, so when you... No, no. So, yeah. So, when you play these, you just play them. It's if you were gaining them. Because, you know, we pulled these ones randomly, right? Right. So, it's if I wanted to buy them from here, that's where I you see. need to spend the chi. Okay, cool. Cool, yeah. cool. Um, so, then I'll use... Because I only have... I'm going to show my hand because we're still learning. <laughs> I have only Korra cards right now. So, I don't really get to utilize my other players. Um, so, what I'm going to do... I'm going to sacrifice... Or piercing. With, I'm gonna be a dick. You wanna answer that? You can answer it. I put my mic on. Oh gosh. I'll do it. Sylveon. Yes, we're playing in a garage. <laughs> <laughs> playing in this guy's garage. Yeah. That's what we got. Okay. So I'm gonna do this. Liquid lash. So Cora is gonna have a def. Are there tokens for the defense? That's what I'm confused about. So that's a block. Oh, maybe. Fuck. Uh, I'm confused. Okay. How do these work? Block. Remove. Okay, so that's if there was already something there. So then when do the attacks resolve? Oh, maybe that's like if I moved into a space, then I would want to do that. All right, whatever. So basically, I'm, I'm going to ignore that piece of information because there's nothing to remove. Um, and then I'll do move on to the next thing. So I have a power of two, and I'm water bending. And I'm the, the darker side, not the lighter side. Again, these are very hard to tell. Um, Sylveon asks, didn't Aang eventually grow up? That's the reason for the new series, right? Um, well, the idea of the new series is Aang has now died because the Avatar is always reincarnated. So Korra is the next Avatar after Aang. 
So she's like, in the wake of that. So her trainer is uh, Tenzin, who is uh, one of Aang's children. And you get to meet kind of the rest of the family and see some old characters as well. It's worth it. If you really like Last Airbender, Korra's a great revisitation to that world. Um, so I have two. I'll put these here. Boop, boop. These are the dark ones, yeah, these are the dark ones. <laughs> two little waters here. You guys ever fixed the wire from last night? There's no fixing it. That wire is dead. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Broke, bro. It like ripped the connector out of the end of it. It's done. Hey, watch up. There you go. Um, and then I have, because the attack traveled, I get to do the hold thing. Mm. So this now. It's broken, broken. So this now blocks this guy. For, so you'd have to spend a move in order to remove this before you can move it again. So you need two movements to actually move this guy somewhere. <laughs> okay. Oh, I see. So that gives you a chance to react. I was wondering. So it's like me attacking you right now doesn't mean anything, right? Because you might be able to move out of the way. You'll be able to dodge on your turn. It's at the end of your turn when you calculate whether or not you're getting hit. So it, it, I like that. So it, it kind of it, the combat of this game it works pretty well. Hmm. Um, and then I'm gonna do things. Okay, so now I'm going to flow as water. Flow as so water. So I have one movement. So I'm gonna move Cora, one here. Okay. Defend. There's nothing to defend against. But then I have a power of three, and I can do. Um, and this is like where it spreads. So I would do three that's one adjacent, and then I could put one that is one adjacent to that. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So that's, that's, these are all the modifiers. So this is the actual attack. So that's three power with a range of three. So actually, I could hit your waterbender. Right. And what I'm not certain about... Uh, Stacy, you've played this before, so my question to you is, am I able to split up this attack, or do I have to choose one space? Uh, I'm not sure. One, two, three. Uh, just cause... Uh, Sarah, yeah, kind of figured out the rules. We just started playing. <laughs> yeah, so far it's making a lot of sense. It's... it's it's simple, but they're like very verbose in how they're saying how things work, and I think they're trying to add a lot of flavor to it because it's a it's a known property. <laughs> so that happens a lot, a lot, especially for you can games. split it up. I can split it up. Cool. All right. So then I will put two here, one here, and then for my one adjacent, because uh, it has to be adjacent to where the water hit. So I'm gonna do one. No. <laughs> Hmm. I don't know. Maybe if you decide to move somewhere. Splash damage. Yeah. <laughs> and then... Serpent's Breath. So I have another uh, three power, range of three, and then I can do two adjacent. So, or two extra push. And let me know if I'm doing something wrong, but I think I'm right. This is how I understood it when I read it. That could be totally wrong. It's possible. Um, also, my second question is for the the team abilities, the special abilities, do you only get to use them like once per match, or is this any time you can do this thing? Because um, I'm, I'm curious because they seem a little OP in my opinion, especially mine seems a little overpowered, um, but I could be wrong. Uh, so then I'll do, <laughs> all right, I'm going to do three here and then two adjacent spaces. Actually, I will, because I don't have to do modifiers, I'm not going to. I'm going to skip that because you guys are going to have to deal with five of those. I think I'm okay. <laughs> so I'll leave these here. That's anytime. Just, anytime. Cool. Um, all right, next step. Check hits. None of my benders are in danger, so I can skip that part. Um, and then stay sharp. I can spend chi to add new technique cards from my strategy row to the top of my main deck. So, Naka's asking, how you're feeling, man? Better. Good. Not dying, just sleepy. <laughs> okay, so I have 
three to spend, and just because I can, and because I haven't done anything with anyone but Cory yet, I'm gonna buy Earthen Roots, Earthen Roots, which is a move for Bolin, who's my Earthbender. And then I will flip this over, and if this costs one, I might buy it, but it doesn't. And then I draw back up three cards, ending my turn. Sorry, I'm doing something. You're good. And now it's your turn. Okay. So I have my hand. Your hand of three. <laughs> so your first thing, you're always going to advance your chi marker. Since okay. you went second, you start with more chi than I do. Gotcha. Okay. Hmm. Oh, I didn't check for fans. Okay, no fans, we're good. And so, the only way to not get hit by something is to move? Um, or if you, uh, if you, I think if you also attack with something, you can cancel them out. There's okay. a thing about annihilation. Um, is this going out of here right now? Did you plug that into there? What is this this white one? That's the other one going from the main computer. Why? Oh, that's the in. Yeah. What are you missing? No, I was trying to see if I could use this one to plug in this monitor. Because I figured I, I'm here, I might as well like start working some of this stuff so I get used to it. Yes, you could actually, because the it's hanging right there, and you could plug it in to uh, one of the other monitor yeah. outs, oh. and then just plug that in. Yes. Cool. I'll do that. Um. So does. Does water beat water? Or does it have to be like fire beats water? I am I'm getting there. Okay. Check hits. So look at each space containing uh, for checking hits. So, so there's two places to plug in an HDMI. Uh, one of them is towards the top. And actually, I probably have to be the one to do this because I don't. It's hard to explain. Okay. I mean, I can see two ports here. Well, there's only one. One is a display port. Oh, okay. So the one below that is the actual HDMI. So that's the one you want to plug into. Okay. Yes. Token annihilation. When you place elemental tokens in a space occupied by your opponent's elemental tokens, these tokens annihilate each other. You must remove an equal number of both players' tokens until one or both teams no longer have any elemental tokens remaining in that space. There should be enough slack you could pull it if you want to. Um, so... The, oh, she says fire beats earth, but water beats fire. That's cool. Oh, no, it says, uh, note says, the type of elemental token does not matter. All elements can annihilate each other. Oh, As well. the attacker, uh, you choose which tokens to annihilate if there are several types in the same space. Annihilated tokens do not have to be the same type. Type. She might be talking about advanced rules, because I haven't even glanced at those yet. Right. Uh, although that, that would make sense. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the other thing, the tricky part is you do have to get away first because you can't put your own tokens in the same space that you're already in. Okay. Um, Interesting. So if I just move, then I don't get hit by those, right? Hmm? So if I just move, if I use my movement to go somewhere else, I don't get hit. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Although now I'm understanding why I should have spread everything out. Mm. I shouldn't have wasted that. Because then I could have that whole row. You'd have to get some your way damage. Through. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so she says, yeah, those are the, the advanced rules. But that's good to know. That's super fun. Ah, I like it. You have to make it harder. Makes it a lot mm -hmm. harder, yeah. And like, and again, this is only two of the teams. These are the starter teams. There's like four other ones in there, and then there's an expansion box on top of this. So I'm already digging this. I like this a lot. <laughs> Naku says, the four nations live together in harmony. Then everything changed when Cucumber attacked. Only the master of all four elements could stop them. But when the world needed him most, he vanished. A hundred years passed, and my brother and I discovered him. A blue monster named Chunk. And although his airbending skills are great, he has a lot to learn before he's ready to save anyone. But I believe Chunk can save the world. Chuck a doo, chuck a doo, chuck a chuck a doo. Anyway. God, I love that show. You guys, Last Airbender is so good. Even if you don't think of it as a cartoon, it's great television. It's so well made. I love it so much. Did you go? 
You good? I haven't done anything yet, actually. All right. Okay, so I've got that guy. So power flare. So I guess that removes one of these, right? Yes. So you can't That's move, but now you're not stuck. Right. So this goes away. All right. And then I've got four tokens with days. Yeah. And you have a range of four as well. Hmm. So you could hit anybody, really. So you're like, one, two, three. Yeah, you can hit anybody. So could I use, could I put tokens in here and then get rid of people getting hit by your stuff? Um, yeah, I think so. Yeah, you just can't put them in the space of the active player. So yeah, that's a good way to okay. think defensively. I hadn't even thought of that. Cool. And so then got, you'll have to, you have to roll for the ref. Mm. To see if I... I'm getting tr in trouble for my illegal move. Uh huh. Yeah. All right, light side tokens. Oh, I have a chat over here. Yeah. Well, Ooh. that because when you plugged it in, it, it didn't it didn't duplicate. It no. It, yeah. It, it's, yeah. It's, oh, it's not over there. No. So you have to go back into the display settings and do mirror, not extend. Daisy, you should make theme songs. Do all the theme songs. Okay. So, so. One, two, one, two, three, four. So I could get, okay, so boom, 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 three. boom. Yeah. Sweet. Great. There it is. Okay. <laughs> and then you have, and now you got to roll for your fan. Roll for fan. For the ref. Yeah. Didn't see it. You got away with it. This goes to your discard. Okay. And then I've got two more things I can do. Mm -hmm. So I got two flash flood. So I use them all, right? Yes. Or if you don't want to use one, you I can, can, you can chi. yeah discard it and then gain chi so that you can buy from these stacks over mm. here. Okay. Oh, you know what I didn't do? Mm. I'm supposed to flip these over, but right? I pushed the mute button with my, my side of my or hand. Or is it only after I get knocked out? That's the end of my turn. At a face-up technique card to the strategy row. Yeah, so what I didn't do, I'm supposed to do these. Okay, so now I've got stuff for my waterbender to do. So he's got two movement, which I don't need to really move anywhere right now. Wait, so he can hit three, so I'd go, I'll move here. Mm -hmm. And now I can get to that, and I'm going to take um, my waters, and I'm going to get rid of those waters. Yep. That's three that you can... Th three of. each, right? Three, six. So. Oh, yeah. Oh, you have two of the same. Mm -hmm. Nice. So there's one, two, three, um, four. Did you move? You moved twice? I moved once here. You have you have to use all of your, your actions. Okay. Yeah. I'll just be in the same place then. Yeah. And you, I mean, since your other move is a move, you could just say you're going back and forth, back and forth. True. But it doesn't let you skip anything except for these. Uh, hmm. All right, so I'll say I'll, I'll use I moved twice up. I took out one, two, three, four, five. So that's all that, and then I still got one left. Um, mm-hmm. You can do that again hmm. for the adjacent one. Well, but that I've already used all all five over there, and I only have six to use. Okay, so for this. No, no, so you have six power, right? Six power, two things. So you use those six. Oh, those because are done. of the two? Wait. No, your range is two. So you can hit something that's two adjacent spaces oh, or see. two spaces that are adjacent away. Um, and then the this is like your push. So this is like your, um, I forget what it's called, uh, adjacent space. Yeah. So then you get to add an extra one or add an extra two. Hmm. Let's go boop, boop. You can put one, and oh, so I like see. you, since you put them all here, you get to put one adjacent in each space. I think something. Uh, Stacy asks, "What are we listening to? We are listening to one of those Twitch Chill music li listening channels. music. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I could do one adjacent there, mm -hmm. and then I guess one adjacent there, right? Mm, that one's mm, oh to your attack. Then yeah. Yeah. So that's then then I move. I'll move back because of my other two movements. Yep. So then, yeah, we're good. Cool. All right, so now what we do is check for hits. So now is when we'll cancel stuff out. So this goes away, this goes away, this goes away. All these go away. Um, bloop, 
All these go away. All of them? Every single one? Everything got hit. Yeah, everything was cool. was matched. Sweet. And now I see where the different types of elements would make more sense for the advanced game. Yeah. I feel like that would make more challenging oh, issue. Yeah. No stay. Um, so now you can buy from your store hmm. um, using your cheese. So you have four to spend, and you can buy as much as you can afford, which right now is just that. Um, and just keep in mind, if you don't buy anything, these cards are still going to go on top of them. So if right. it's something that you want, I would get it sooner than later. Right. Okay. Um, oh, wait. And then you had another effect on one of those, right? Mm. Oh, but you didn't hit a person with that, correct? Oh, never mind. Never mind. If these end up hitting, then I get a confusion token-y thing because hmm. of your ability. My days? Choose one bender in the space targeted by the attack you just completed that is not already a daze. Place a daze token in their status. So, one of those. So, basically, choose one of the... Whichever... Oh, no, because that was a fire guy, right? Yes. So, then it won't it won't happen. Oh, I see. But, like, if you had targeted one of my guys, I would have gotten one of your confusion things. I see. Okay. Cool. All right. So we, we can't listen to K-pop. We have to listen to Twitch-approved music. That is true. Yeah, if we listen to something that isn't uh, public domain, they'll mute this on any replay, and we'd rather have you guys be able to come and revisit. Um, so. I'm looking to see. I think this OBS doesn't have the projector mode. So no. Do this the it doesn't. Mode. You'd have to just mirror screens. Mm. So are you not buying anything? No. Okay, so then boop, boop, boop. Those go on Where top. mirror screens, right? So right click, um, display settings down to. Um, You'll see all the options. And right click onto what? Onto the desktop. Desktop, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm gonna do... So I draw back up now, yeah? Yep, draw back up to three, then I get to play. So do you do those count as hits or or how does that result if i can't cancel those out at the end of my turn they'll count as hits so, so my goal is to either move away from them or so or it's just a constant thing of always trying to make someone move away or mm -hmm. well your goal is to try to push me completely off so if i get hit you get for each one of these that i get hit i get hit back to hit back a space i see so, so i'm trying to avoid getting hit right. while i'm still trying to hit you i see i see so it's, it's what'd you do there's a push and pull oh i see <laughs> We're all a bit twitchy since uh, the stream died yesterday. I'm handling it. I'm learning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to figure out windows. <laughs> all right. I'm going to play. I'm going to do Fire Trap. So this is a Mako move. It's a move one. Power of two, range of three. Um. So I could technically hit anybody right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get... This is where I get confused, because if I am allowed to split my attack, then does that mean each person that I'm attacking will get that little foot token-y thing? And we'll find out. Yes. Nothing. Okay. <laughs> hmm? Oh, you want your own camera? I'm gonna be on webcam. <laughs> hey, Naku. Welcome back. Welcome back. Sugar. <laughs> hey, guys. I'm running the... Uh, <laughs> I'm, on, I'm running the booth over here. So you guys can see me give a tour of, of our, our shit in the booth right here. And here's the computer. Space that I place tokens. So this is where I'm going to be for right now since we have nobody running the audio and and things. And since this little webcam wasn't really buying us anything. Over there. And you got bored. And I got bored. So I'm going to come okay. do stuff. You may not place elemental tokens in a space containing elemental, any elemental tokens that you control that match the active vendor's element. Oh, wait. That's the Never advanced. Mind. That's the same thing. No, it's not. No? So, wait. I didn't... Element... You may not place elemental tokens in a space containing any elemental tokens that you control that match the active vendor's element. 
So I can't double up like I did before. Oh, That's I my see. bad. I see. Well, I got rid of them anyway. Yeah. So it's like each... Okay. So I have to kind of spread it out. Um, <laughs> Yeah, we don't we don't let Chunk on the soundboard though. No, he he'd break things. <laughs> no, he might do okay. He's pretty knowledgeable. Maybe, maybe. he surprises people sometimes. <laughs> he does. Range of between one space and range of one can only target a space adjacent. Range of three can target a space one, two, or three. Space. So I have to start, we have to target a space. So I don't think you can split. An attempt to knock back. So attack first, pick a space. Yeah, okay. a space. So no more splitting and no doubling up. Okay. This is what we're learning. Sorry. So then I have two. I will put these here. Fire, fire. Ah, it's hot. I'm going to use my thingy and lock you down. <gasps> uh, and then I have liquid lash. So I have a defensive one. So pull that off right now. Boop. And then I have uh, two. Uh, hey, Danny. Yeah. Do you want to uh, explain to people again about our, f our fundraising? Yeah, totally. Um, so for all of you just joining us, if you're joining us, um, we're Perception Check. Hi. We play a lot of D&D &D stuff <laughs> on Mondays on Hyper RPG and Wednesdays here on our channel. Um, we're basically improv funny people who play games a lot. Um, that's about right. Lesser on the improv sometimes. Um, ah! But um, basically, uh, you guys have all, uh, we have a very strong community here, and we have a lot of support, and we're very, very grateful for it. And uh, we have an exercise, uh, we, we have the ability today to exercise our, that gratitude and, and, and pay it back to you guys a little bit. Um, our friend Goobs is going through some serious um, medical complications right now, so everything that we're raising today is going towards um, like his medical stuff. We're, we're trying to pay that back. He's been taking care of us, so it's our turn to kind of take care of him. So that's what we're doing today. That's what our goals are for. Um, yeah, so, you know, be a good citizen, I guess. If yeah, you have something so to give, please do. Again, none of this today is coming to us at all. It's all going to go to him and, and taking care of him. Yeah, so if you guys can donate, we'd appreciate it. If not, we're totally here to hang out anyways. Yeah. So. Either way, tonight's going to be fun. Yeah. Or laid back or whatever we're doing. It's going to be hangouty. Hang we're going to be here most of the afternoon into the evening. Yeah. This is only game one of like mm -hmm. four that we have. So <laughs> we're going to be here. So come hang out. Do bits count? Do bits yes. count? Yes. Um, yeah. Yes, bits count. Wait, bits do count. Anything anything counts, anything works. All right, so I have two. Two. And a thingy. And this is Cora, so I one away. A range of two. I could... Oh, so this is where you can double up. So I really want this guy to get hit. That's my goal right now. I am, I'm illustrating this to you guys if you guys are following along with the gameplay. Nope. Um, yeah, we can't see I thought I, I told it to duplicate. Oh. No, because then you exit it out instead of keep change. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Thank you, John JBJ, for the cheers. We appreciate hey. it very much, man. It it's good. all for the goobs. Apparently, Windows didn't like needed to be convinced. Mm -hmm. It was like, oh, you sure? Yeah, I clicked the button. That's why I wanted yeah, to do it. Yeah, sometimes people mess up, and then they're like, whoa, wait. Oh, I have to wait that 20 seconds oh. for it to reset. Just put that there, and smart. then you're going to get another one of these. I Keep changes, yes. Somebody. But that way, you're. If, if we do it this way, Ryan, you're gonna be watch. You're gonna sit here and like oh. critique me playing with buttons and stuff. Good. You're and gonna see what I'm doing. Because I forgot to move up my chi at the top of my turn. Okay. So there you go. So now my my earthbender gets to go, and I have a defense of two, so I'll block this one. And then I have a power of two, range of three. And these are the discs. So this is Bolin attacking, and he also has that, that awesome grippy thing. I love this, man. Um, but it's because he has a range of two, I can hit anybody, so I'm going to hit this guy here. He also has that. All right. So and what now, do these do? Those are, so oh, it's, those it's are his Earth? element. Yeah, oh, so, so in the arena, it's these like kind of sandstone discs that come up out of the ground, and then they earth bend them towards people, gotcha. and they burst on impact. Um, I have two to spend. Oh, I'll take this one because it's free. It's one of the base ones. Sure. Um, and then I'll spend two 
to get this one and put that on top as well just so that I'm getting used to doing these things now we flip these what's crazy is this game's gonna end quickly oh that's what I think is so odd because there's so few cards here because it says once these run out then we start rolling for the ref to end the game you remember okay did Thanks we say thank you to John BJ for the bits? We did. Oh, okay. I'm not paying attention. Hmm. Okay, so then I draw back up. I think. Or maybe do you this is do it every time, right? This is probably gonna last another This is probably gonna last another fifteen minutes before I get bored. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do something else. Yeah, uh, thought you were gonna do Photoshop. You got bored with that too. Uh, that just, it did, there wasn't a comfortable <laughs> spot for me to do that. Uh, but I'm gonna be in the booth. I'm gonna be over here. I'm gonna be the the color commentator. Good. You should just get. Uh, you should you should find Chunk in his trailer and go like just be the commentator <laughs> then. Yeah, I should go get him. Uh huh. Oh oh. I'm doing it wrong. I'm doing it wrong. I thought so. Oh, yeah. You know, this is what happens when well, you don't read the instructions. This of action time. was right. It's only supposed to be one card from each deck. Uh, or not from each. Sorry. Just one. Oh. So oh. that one I did so the you're first like, I time. I don't like that one. And you just get Yeah. So now this one. So now it's like you have seven rounds or All something. All right. So I will put some cards back. Yeah. So now we'll go back to that main thing and then we'll just pull one. Got it. Are we finally... Oh, hey, thanks, Max, for the host. Hey, thank, thank you, you so Max. much. Uh, yeah, there is a board game of this. And what I'm even more excited about is down the line, they said they're going to try to make a uh, uh, Last Airbender game. What? Don't look at me. You're looking at me weird. <laughs> it's like you wanted my attention. <laughs> no, I was just looking at you. Ugh. Are we finally playing the game correctly? Yes. Or are we still kind of fumbling we're through there. it? We're fumbling, but it's, it's, it's better than a lot of the games we've just jumped into. Okay. No, just this ain't no this. Rise and Sun stream. Huh. Huh. <laughs> your turn, Ryan. Okay. Move up your chi. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Why do you have... Oh, no, that's your deck. Why do you have four cards? What's happening? Oh, your discard is face down. You monster. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think there. Sarah was talking to me when she said yeah, I could familiarize myself with the next game. You could. Good. But I'm pushing buttons. And I'm like interacting. Super I'm, I'm, necessary buttons, clearly. I'm making the show more interesting by like jumping in and be like, hey. Oh, this now goes away because it didn't hit anybody. It's the end of my turn. That would be the resolving the attacks See. thing. So now I get to try and, and get a, avoid these. Yes, while also trying to attack me. Avoid okay. the Noid. Oh, and now I understand this. These are things that will be listed on your team's cards specifically. So this is something you need to activate separately. I see. Sylvian so asks, who's winning? Right now, we are neck and neck. We are just, <laughs> we're trading blows and avoiding each other. <laughs> Chat time. Chat time. Naku says, cucumber. Uh-oh, I'm doing it wrong. A biography. <laughs> oh. He wouldn't say uh-oh. No. He'd say something much more vague. Vile, very, very that's the word. Oh, I just realized I need to, do need a light because I'm on camera. Yeah, turn that one up there over to you. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Are you going to take your turn? It's your no. turn. Yeah, no. it's because Ryan's all up in my business and worrying about what I'm, I'm doing. I'm ready to play. <laughs> play the game. Okay. So, blue guy doesn't get to move. That's cool. Uh, he can shoot two... Two times or three times? The range is two, so you can you can hit something up to two spaces away. You have three power, so you have three attack that you can actually do. Oh, there you go. I look much better. These are your no, three. Right on me. And then if you <laughs> put those on a cold. space with a person in it, then you can <laughs> put that sucker down there too. Gotcha. What word rhymes with duck? Spuck. Muck. Chuck. Tuck. Suck. Truck. Luck. Buck. Pluck. Snuck. Is that the word? Tuck. Yuck. Yuck, 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 yuck. Oh, I left my drinks over there. <laughs> Too bad. Uh, okay. So he can't go anywhere. Nope. But I can move. I can do stuff to my, my firebender. 
so <laughs> you can shoot four away and then this you can shoot one away so I'm gonna go one over and so I've got range of four so I already took out one two three so I'm gonna take one more fire and cancel out that last water water okay. and now I'm gonna take my other four and I'm gonna go after um, this guy okay okay yes cool from now on for my sake we'll play one card at a time all right well that's how you're supposed to do it a and then but, B, it's easier um, to follow because you don't actually have a spread to pull from things happen in order so like the movements and stuff it's like I have to move and then I have to do this attack and then I have to roll the fan and then I have to move and then I have to attack and then I have to move again and then I have to do this thing okay because you don't yeah it's not like it's not like magic or, or or like Dominion where you get to like you have all these floating actions it's mm -hmm. designed to be you go in order down the card huh. we can play your way Dan that's fine <laughs> it's in the book that I read while everyone was doing things okay anyway. Okay, so what is happening? All right, so I'll say I moved. Well, okay, I'll, I'll say I played this card first. Okay. So I moved one. You used your one attack there. And then I used my one attack to offset those things. So mm -hmm. then I'm going to move. I can move again. I have to move again. So I'm back yeah. there, and then I have another two shots I can take. Mm -hmm. All right, so I will I'll take these two and attack her. Since okay. it's, it's nice and close, now I get to, I have to move again, and then I now have my four shots in a daze. Yes. So I can now. And you have a range of four, so you can you could hit anybody, or you can like double or triple down on somebody. Okay. Fire to fire. Okay. And then a daze. Yeah. And then I now have to roll that, and I'm okay. Nice. So for days, um, for anyone who missed it, days means I don't get to do whatever the first action is on this that character's next card, which blows, but I'll be okay. All right, so now I put my cards down here, and mm -hmm. I'm out, and now I draw back up. Or you, you, can, you just have to do this thing. Right. Hmm. He blue says, that's a lot of pieces. This is only six of the however many... 30 something minis that come with this game. And yeah, there's a lot of tokens though. Like a shit ton of tokens. These are cool too. I don't even know what these are for. Maybe advanced stuff? Hmm. These haven't even come up in the, in the Maybe supplies. Maybe they're just prettier versions of these. Oh, you know what? You're probably right. Expansion. Yeah, maybe it was a stretch goal or something that I didn't pay attention to. Um. I got already got a flash flood. No, I don't really want to buy anything. I okay, will... So then you flip over one card. Okay. Hey, a free one next time. Ooh. Well, no, you can gain it right now and put it on top of your deck. Oh, okay. Cool. So now that is in your hand. Okay. One, two, three. All right. See you, Naku. See you in a bit. We'll be here. See ya. Okay. Thanks um, again, everybody, for your cheers and donations. Appreciate it. These are all going towards our friend Goobs. <sighs> dun, right. dun, dun, dun. So now I have things. Hey, Danny. Yeah. Can you reach that focus ring on that top oh. camera? Um, 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 um. Probably, but I don't know what to do. <laughs> Sorry, everyone's ears. Just twist it a little bit. One way. Which way? I don't know. One way. Other way. Oh. Less, less than that. Less. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Right there. Boom. Much better. All right. Cool. Fix that. All right. Um. Shoot. I had like an epiphany of sorts, and I just forgot what it was. Good timing. Yeah. I'm sorry. Haha. <laughs> I was just, I was watching it here up close, and it was bugging me that it was just a little bit out of focus. Cool. Oh. Because you guys look thing. really good right here. Um. We didn't cancel <laughs> out your fight stuff. So here's what's going to yeah, happen. Yeah, yeah. You. So these ones don't get canceled out. So you get hit twice. Now I don't. I want to double check and make sure I'm not knocking you back too far. Oh, that's why I'm sitting close. 
I don't need to listen. Okay. <laughs> Art is on the International Space Station. <laughs> One hit for each of your opponent's elemental tokens in their space. Tossing so. it back to the International Space Station. Uh, <laughs> we're watching Twitch. And it seems like a really good game. How's the gravity up there, Art? The gravity is great. <laughs> <laughs> Delay. Takes a little bit. <laughs> Back to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you move back. This guy moves back two. Okay. But you can choose where in here, in those ranges, it gets right. back to. Okay. So, bop, bop. And now these ones, you canceled out all of these, correct? Correct. Right, now those, those other effects also go away. Blah, blah, blah. Interesting. Right, now I have to deal with all this mess. Okay. Doing it. We're doing it. We're yeah. doing it. We're doing it. All right. Peter. So, because of this confusion thingy, I don't get to do this first action. So you can't move. Correct. Now this goes away. Yes. Now I have a range of two, a strength of three. I'm going to attack you. So I'm going to do a range of two. And smack your oh two no I don't know I can't hit that far uh, so yeah I'll just put them boom all here on your earthbender guy and then I have fire trap which now I can move so I'm just gonna whoop and duck out of the way over yonder and I have again a range of two with a grip on it <laughs> so it's fire trap so you get Oh wait, no, I can't. I can't. So I'm going to redo that because I just remember we I can't double up on you. So I'm going to put him here, take okay. a risk, move to so these fiery thingies here, and then hit this guy for two. Hold him, and then Bolin now has. A block, there's nothing to block, and then he has doom, doom. This is one two punch, so he's got two hits of a thing. Something. Thanks for the host, Sylveon. Hey, Thank you for the host. host. <laughs> Appreciate it. So now these are two separate ones. So this is where I could split. That's why. Because they're two separate attacks. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um, so then this is Earth. So I have two of these. Range one, so I could technically hit. You could cancel out some stuff. You could hit more things of me. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cancel out these fires on Korra. All right. Now we resolve. These miss. Yes. And then these cancel out. So Looks no. like we're finally learning to play the game. Game's moving, everybody. It's, <laughs> it's going. It's working. It's working. Up in the chopper, it's we have working. art. <laughs> Breaking news by Art. Says Texas. Uh, hold up. Uh -huh. I have nothing to spend. Yes. So I cannot buy. Okay. Aww, oh, wait. So I sad. shouldn't have nothing to spend. Because I didn't one. spend anything, so I should have one. Um, so I won't buy anything, but I will flip this one here. What does it say? This one? Yeah. It says Flash Flare. Which does things. Oh, but it's free! But now I I can't get it, because that's technically the end of my turn. I think. We did yours backwards. Keep yours, though. You're fine. Okay. Ready? Ready. Ready. Okay. I'm going to have to take a potty break soon. <laughs> no. So. There is no potty breaks. None. We're going to go eight hours nonstop. Whoa! All right, so I got to move, mm -hmm. and I can fire three, or fire two for three away. <laughs> Texas Gold says, quit drinking so much. <laughs> That'll help. That's not true. Hold on. I want to double check something about movement. Okay. Oh, wait. 
Like if I could actually go above my... I think you can. <laughs> I don't see oh, wait. why not. Move the active vendor one space within the zone. A vendor can only cross into adjacent spaces and may not cross metal lines into a different zone. A vendor can enter a space occupied by other vendors of the same team. If the technique card shows a move icon, the active vendor must move if possible. So you can't move forward yet. Okay. So basically what you want to do now, you want to knock my guys back a rung, so then all of your players move forward into this zone. Right. Uh, Lenny says, uh, this looks confusing. Yeah, you have no idea. It was, it was like, a, like a couple, a, a, couple, okay, a, couple a couple hours of just Danny reading a book, trying to make this work. It works. But now it's working. It's great. It's working. Okay. It's, it's good. I'm learning. I'm going to still cancel these two out. Cool. That's discarded. Now I've got headshot. So oh. Um, I can only shoot two spaces away, but I can do three, so I can cancel out the other files. Douse, douse, douse. All right. So that's, and then I don't really daze my own person, so. <laughs> um, and I have a, that again. Um. So I'm too far away now to use that. So what's Ryan gonna do? How so I could just like put it in a spot that's not. I can't double up, right? So Ryan is thinking from about the active up. one. So yeah, is it all? It's all the one player. Yeah, you can't put it in the same spot. So I'll just do splash over here. Okay. He's splashing into an empty square. <laughs> All right, so now I can decide if I want to buy something. I'll take this guy. One, two, three. I'll call them, Lenny. Thank you. We'll, we'll talk about it. <laughs> one, two, three. Okay. All righty. So I'll move up my chi. Two, two. My chi. Oh, wait. So we didn't do... You're going to resolve your attacks before you... So right. these cancel. These cancel. And these... These stay, actually. Yeah. If by some miracle I manage to push myself up there, I can land on those, I guess, or something? Well, also, like, if you attack me and I move there... Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. You'd have, like, defense kind of sitting, I guess. Mm-hmm. Well, no, because they'll go away at the end of my turn. Hmm. Unless I'm somehow there. Hmm. Oh, well. That's fine. I have a really hard time learning how to play this game like this, so just FYI, when it's my turn to play, I might need an explanation <laughs> again. I'm trying to pay attention. It's like, so it looks like Avatar Checkers. It kind of is. What I like about it is like, oh, well, don't like it, but I think it's a good mechanic that if you get knocked back, you, you're stuck until your entire team is able to push the rest of your team forward. So this guy's stuck dodgeball. playing defense. Yeah, it's very dodgeball-y. Bing, bing, bing. All right, so let's see what damage I can do. Not a lot, really. Oh, this goes away as well. Ooh. Hey, thank you. Thank you, Jet420, for the host. Thank you for the host. All right, so I have Solar Burst. Pew. Move one. Pew, pew, pew. Bam. And I have three at a range of two. So I'll do three attack here. Two, ow, two, two. Ow, ow. two yours. <laughs> and then I will do solar burst again. Which Both. is yes, so the same yeah. thing. So I'll move this guy here. With a range of two, I can still hit him. So I'll do three damage again. But over here. Deek, deek, deek. And now I, I have flow as water. So now Cora can move. She blocks one. There's nothing to block. Three at a range of three. This is where I get excited. So I have three at a range <laughs> of bam, bam, bam. I'm going to try and knock this sucker off. And it has a splash of one to an adjacent space. So just in case you move away some magic ways, hmm. it leaves you one option to get away. Um... I have two to spend. No oh. worries, Sylvia, and that's why we're here. We're here to answer flash questions. Flare, because it's free. Put that at the top. 
<laughs> That's all I can buy. And I'll pull yeah, this down. This is this is a, a complicated game. <laughs> yeah, all it right. looked easy when like on the box. Yeah. It looked like it was like oh it's gonna be like cute little and like easy games, but it's it's a lot more complicated than I thought it was gonna yeah. be. Yeah. I think it's one of those things you just once you get acquainted with the terms and like what everything does, it's like that. Yeah. And yeah. I think maybe maybe the problem is the is the book itself. Yeah, it's and not written well. It's not written. But I mean it's all there, it's just you have to like dig through yeah. it all. So there's our, our, our first impression review. Game's fun. Instructions kind of suck. Rules could be simple. Need to streamline them. Yeah. Like I would say, I would say separate your flavor stuff, like story, lore, all that. Separate that from your rules. Make your rules as simple as freaking possible. And I mean, uh, the imagery in there is good, and that helps. But I think they need to be more specific. With or maybe like, do you have that notebook, but also have like a quick start guide? Yeah. So just do you have like a basic, you know, totally. yeah, introduction? One up. Yep. Cool. All right. So Titans throw. My bender is going to block two immediately. So they're out. Cool. All right. And he's got four attack, four away. Are we uh, going to say like a dinner break or something like that at some point? Yeah, we should. Okay. Um, oh, they're saying. Oh, hold up. Bloop, bloop. What are they saying? Uh, Icky says, "I think they're knocking their opponents all the way back." Yeah, that's the goal: is to to to, re to knock your entire opponent's team off of the map. Do you want to give a kip now that we played a little bit? Yeah. A quick description of how the game works a little bit. Totally. What, all right. the, what the goal is and how that, that works. Yeah, so each team has three benders. The object of the game is to knock the other benders off of the arena. If they get knocked off, they're out of the game. Um, and so once you eliminate all three of the other person's players, they're gone. And what he just rolled, it, this is like the referee. It's whether or not he saw someone playing dirty. Um, in this Whoa. case, they didn't. So his team is known for being dicks in the show. So they have a bunch of dick moves that are really mean. Um, but if you get two fans, um, that's like two fouls and you're out. Um, so th if, if he gets caught twice uh, twice on one character, that character's out of the game as well. So it's it's dangerous to do that. So like if you have one fan already, you'd probably start discarding those to gain chi. Chi is how you buy abilities in your store over here. Um, otherwise, you have your deck of cards here that you go through. And whether you buy things or not, you'll always be flipping one of these over um, from your supply here, um, right here, right? So you'll be flipping one of these over um, once all of these are gone, though, at the end of every turn, you'll be rolling to see if it's the end of the game or not. Um, but, yeah, so if you keep coming up blank, then you keep playing until there's a clear winner or the ref calls it. Hey, thanks for the cheers. Thank you for the cheers very, very, very much. Agent Raven. Uh, and if you just joined us, uh, today we're hanging out for the rest of the evening, doing a few games. We're probably just going to go till we get tired, yeah. right? Is that the thing? Yeah. Uh, we might take a couple of breaks here and there, but if we go, we'll be right back. Um, uh, tonight's, the money we raised tonight is going towards one of our fellow checkers who is going through some stuff. No. And we thought since we're going to be here all day anyways, we might as well try to raise some money for him to help him out. So if you guys uh, have any, you know, want to donate, that would be wonderful. If you can't donate, it's totally fine. We're here to hang out anyways. Uh, so make sure you guys uh, subscribe and like and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. That would be great too. Yes. And cool. now, Done. back to the game. With that. All right. Uh, I don't have anything to want to buy, so I will draw back up. Cool. And you still have to flip one. Yes. Um, Lenny says, so does each team have three of the same type of benders or three water against three fire? Uh, you always have one one water, one earth, and one fire bender on your team. Those are pro bending rules. Um, pro and so bending. You, you guys can tell which one is which. Their bases are blue, uh, green. So blue is water, green is earth, and red is fire. Um, and then all these are the attacks that are being thrown out. And then it's up to us at the end of our turns to um, to knock things back. Um, I forgot to... Yeah, to take your damage. Well, no, I forgot to save him. <laughs> yeah, so, so he, he gone. He's gone. So. So now special stuff happens when you knock someone off the map. Yeah. So this guy goes away. Um, Back in the pile. Here. Yeah. Um, but then Classing. something else happens. Something else happens. Um. <laughs> the 
Okay, so knockouts. Uh, Bender who's knocked out back beyond zone C is knocked out. <laughs> Place a miniature in the water area behind the... Uh, <laughs> around the outside of the arena board. This yep. Bender is now out of play. Remove their strategy deck. So oh, no. that's that. No water. Um, and any of their cards in your strategy row from the game. Return all tokens from their status area to the supply. Do not remove any of their cards from your main deck. Do um, not pass go. Do not collect. Yeah, so now these go away because they were from him. Yeah. Um, and then do not remove any of their cards from the main deck. They can still be used for chi for the remainder of the game. Cool. And then each time one of your vendors is knocked out, you advance your chi marker by three. So you gain three. Um, you give the momentum token to your opponent to place on their team board, which I still don't remember what this is for. I think it's a tiebreaker, was it? Um, mm. And then if all three of your benders have knocked out, you lose the game. Um, and then I think you get to take another turn? It says so. Is it? I don't know. Hold on. Knockback sign has at least one completely empty zone between that bender that is furthest forward. No, 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 that's moving forward. We didn't do that. All right, this is the thing that was supposed to be on page 18, but it's not. So I think, I thought it was when you get knocked out, you get to take another turn or something. You remove your, so after your opponent, oh, that's a line advance. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, so if, if I advance my line, you get to take a spare turn. So that hasn't happened yet. I see. Um, and then these also have to be resolved. So these guys both get knocked back one row because of this one hit. Hmm. Um, but you get to choose which space they land on. So now, actually, now a line advance does happen because I've, I've hit hard enough. Um, so now I'm going to choose, I'm going to kind of keep my same formation. Yeah, yeah, Sarah, this game is called The Legend of Korra Pro Bending Arena by so IDW. Is IDW who makes this? Yes, this is IDW games. IDW game. Uh, OK, so now. <laughs> Chunk, take it easy on the drinks. This isn't trivia hops. <laughs> I've had two drinks. <laughs> I literally just opened my second drink. So yeah, after applying, so this is this what I just did is called a line advance in this game. So since there was a, a gap, since I knocked these guys back one row, there's now a gap. So my team gets to move forward, and it allows me to apply more pressure on the other team and try to get them out. Hmm. Um, so after applying knockbacks and knockouts, if there's at least one completely empty zone between the bender that is furthest forward on your team and the furthest forward on your opponent's team, your opponent immediately makes a line advance. It would be me. To make the line advance, first remove all tokens from the arena board. Then your opponent moves all of their benders. Oh, wait. Your opponent makes a line advance. Sorry, you make the line advance. I don't. Ha! So, fuck. What was this? Sorry. I'm, uh, there are four on this. And a confusion thing. And then same over here, right? Mm hmm. That's backwards. Okay. Not backwards. It makes sense. Because now, but now these guys come all the way up. So you just close the gap. I see. So you got knocked back. There's a gap. You get to go forward. Oh, no, your opponent. Since. Oh, yeah, sorry. No, I was right the first time. Because you do the, the knockbacks on your turn. So it's still your turn. I would be your opponent. I move forward. Okay. There it is. That's why order of operations yeah. is important. Texas says, rule 22 says I punch you at my leisure. <laughs> <laughs> Okie dokie. But now, since there has been a line advance, you take another turn. Okay. And you can, yeah, you already moved them wherever you wanted, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the first one, I block two things, which is great. <laughs> uh, so. Right on the other side. Mm-hmm. 
As soon as you do your move. There was no oh, there's move. a block, sorry. Block, block, block. Oh, yeah. And I ha we also haven't been paying attention to normal attacks versus pierce attacks. What does that mean? So a pierce attack doesn't do the cancel out thing. It hits normally. Oh. It's the one with the burst around it. Ha! Well. So, yeah. That would have changed you. a lot more stuff. Yeah, that is true. So yeah. is there a way to actually check that? Or, like, denote that with... With the pieces. To perception because, check it. Because hmm? wow. if you just put them on the board, how do you know that those were piercing instead of just normal? Uh, I would just l maybe leave the card out as it's played. I think maybe that's what these slots are for. Oh, yeah. And then once it resolves, you kill them. You're right. Interesting. Yeah, pierce. Hey! Thanks, son! Thanks, thanks, son! <laughs> Sending good vibes to our friend Goobs! Appreciate it very much. Pierce attack. Uh, piercing attacks can penetrate your opponent's defenses and ignore their elemental tokens. Pierce attacks follow all the normal attack rules, range, adjacency, and spread, except token annihilation when you place your elemental tokens. Okay. And your, But your opponent is able to use token annihilation against these tokens on their turn, however. I Then I don't see what the difference is. I think annihilation, we're doing it wrong. Token annihilation. When you place elemental tokens in a space occupied by your opponent's elemental tokens, these tokens annihilate each other. So that happens automatically. So that calculation doesn't happen Let's see. at the end. That happens straight away. Okay. We're still learning. We thought we had we still new things. Yep. All right, so. Block, I get to move. Block again. Eh. Um, and then I've got two at three range. So. Thing. And then I block two again. And then I got two. days. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, there we go. And I try and yep. I didn't I, I didn't roll that very well, sorry. That's so messed up. Okay. Uh. <laughs> you gonna buy anything? No. So these stay out until we resolve, and then we'll draw. Yeah. Yeah. So I we think just that's know. wise. I think that makes sense. We should do that. All right. So I'm gonna push this up. This is four. Still can't afford much of anything. Um. So here's what I'm gonna do. Shit. Someone's gonna get hit. I'm going to do Flash Flare, so I don't get to do my first little punch attacky thing, so I'll cancel that out. But now I get to move, which is nice, so I'll move here. And then I get one attack at one range. So it's a little, a little fire in your face, buddy. Uh. Um, and then I have... Okay. Might get hit anyway. Liquid Lash. I think we just got lucky with those earlier cards, too. Yep. So at this point, are, are you winning, Danny? Because you pushed him further back? Currently, yeah. I'm ahead. Yeah. I only have one character off the board now. Oh, okay. Yeah, but the cool thing is, like, it, him getting knocked off, like, he now gains three chi, and he can cycle through things a little bit better. So, like, any card that would have gone to the character that got knocked out, he can use for points to buy better cards for his remaining players. Okay. So it stays pretty balanced. Balances that. Um, and already he's about to kick my ass. Uh, so I took this off for my block. Two, range two, with a footy foot thing. Liquid Lash. Ooh, now I'm closer. <laughs> give, your, give yourself that head ceiling, man. Yeah, I'm trying. So one, two. <laughs> is that one of the uh, booms you got from our our friend? Yeah, this is the little, the little um, one of the little arms. I was going to show people. You know what? I'm going to show people now. I'm going to get it. Okay. Oh, cool. Uh, oh, no. All right. And then I have... I have nothing for him. He's gonna get smacked no matter what. Oh, he's Smack. done. You totally took out Bolin. How? 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 Why? Because I have nothing. Oh, that's not true. I should have been smarter about that. Mm. Oh wait, no. One, two. Fuck. No, I fucked myself. I wasn't paying attention. Hmm. I should have. I should have sent that attack here. 
Either way, no, either way, he's done. Cookie one, one, two, three, two, three, four. Um, all right, so now she's got range three, attack three, um, with a spread of two. Yes! So here's what we're going to do. So first, three will go here. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. And then I have two that have a spread of two, so I can pretty much hit anything. Okay. Except for this space. So I'll go... Actually, no, they both have to go here. Because I've already placed here and I've already placed there. Right. Please go here. Um, shit. Alright, so now I resolve my hits. So, Bolin is gone. Because he... C well, there's nothing to deny. But, because I didn't have any cards for him. Ah, I So see. he gets hit back four. So... <laughs> One, two, three, splash. He's out. Huh. You now get this. I gain three. Um, I'm on Instagram, okay? Okay. okay. Hey guys, uh, we're currently streaming live <laughs> on Twitch. Right now, what's happening right now? So make what's sure to come, come check us out. Yeah. Twitch.tv, Perception Check, DND. Mm -hmm. I can't help it, Lenny, I'm sorry. That was me Instagramming. <laughs> um, and then Cora gets hit back one. She had no movement. Sweet. So Mako's stuck in the front. Um, and now I can spend things. Oh, wait. So now I have to get rid of all of these. These go away. Hang on to these for a second. I'll use the store. Hold on. So I'm going to buy one. I have five. One, two, three, four, five. And I have... This and oh, I don't have three left, so I'm stuck. And I have to flip one of these over. High tide. Okay. Ah. <laughs> Thanks, son. So this is Danny monotoning the direction too much. <laughs> he does that. I mean, he does that. Because he gets into it. That's all I'm saying. I'm excited. I know. It wasn't. Right. It wasn't a judgment. It was just thing up. an observation or uh, so can go away. agreement no, the to the observation yeah. that that he made. Right. Mercury rising. Sylveon, to answer your question, it me. <laughs> just throwing that. Out. <laughs> Except for that one time that Art did it. It was really destroyed good. Destroyed himself. And hurt himself. Oh, I hurt myself. <laughs> <laughs> it was really good. It was real painful. Okay. So I've got one movement. One movement. Uh, Mitchie, if you do it wrong, it can hurt a lot. But you just gotta, like, you have to be gentle with it, and the instinct is to want to push it because you're, you're pulling the air against your vocal cords in the other direction instead of outward. So it's like you feel like you want to tighten up, but if you tighten up, that's <laughs> when you hurt yourself. So you gotta just like, and that's about it. I'm gonna go here. I got two more fire coming. Yeah, I tried to do it, and it, I did it really poorly, and I tried to be really loud okay, about it. Since that one, and it hurt really bad. So they're all piercing. Then on this turn, I've got two shields, so two of these already go away. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, then he's got movement. Your ring guy? Yeah. No, he's he's, so he's, he, that yeah. goes away. Yep. Then he's got another two blocks, so that goes away. And then he's got two to hit. Oh, man. Okay, and now uh, Shonzu has two more two attacks. So I can can I can I add more to this, or do I have to be around that? Hmm. I can't add more to this tile, right? With this new card. Why not? I was just checking, like, because oh. I did I attacked with this one first. Oh, because of the whole the whole active thing. Yeah. That's the. I feel like that language doesn't make any sense to me. But yeah, I don't think so. 
Uh, uh, hi, Mr. Aru Tortuga. Uh, he just joined us. We yeah. are playing the Legend of Korra Pro Bending Arena. Uh, this is our first game. Pro Took so while to learn how to play it, but it's going now. Um, and then, what chunk would be a great Captain Planet? Yeah, he would. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there, uh, who was asking? Uh, Ranger was asking, what kind bender would, would chunk be? I think chunk would be a water bender. Um, I don't think he'd be. He's blue. He would not be good around fire. Yeah. Yeah, That's I think it, I think it'd be a I think it'd be a good waterbender. Chunk's the little blue guy. <laughs> oh, I pushed the wrong button. You may not place uh, you may not place <laughs> elemental tokens in a space containing any elemental tokens that you control that match the active bender's element. Okay, okay. yeah. So yeah. yeah, people agree that cucumber would be a fire bender. Yeah. Yes, definitely. Cool. So I can go up to two. So one, two, one, two. So Three, that's four, five, six. Why do I have this over here? I what are these for? Why do I have these? Okay, I wish I could tell you. I only have two out there. Yeah. They might have just been extra from pulling off. Yeah, you're really. right. Okay. Okay. So now you don't get hit by anything. And I don't. Oh, I'm going to take that because it's free. Mm hmm. Okay. Cool. You're still not buying anything? Well, it was free. I know, but you, you can buy as much as you can afford. Oh. And you have seven to spend still. Okay. So if the perception check cast were all fire, were all benders, and we were all different benders, what would we be? So it'd just be ri cucumber Ryan would be before. an earthbender. Probably, yeah. Amber <laughs> would be water. She'd be water. water. She'd probably she'd have like a would dual. Be earth. G would be an airbender. <laughs> uh, I wonder what Jared would be. Jared would be a firebender. Yeah. Brian would be a uh, Brian would be an earthbender. He feels yeah. like an earthbender to me. Ian would be. He'd water. be an earthbender too. Earthbender? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What about Kenny? What would Kenny be? Firebender. Okay, firebender. You think so? Yeah. He'd be like an Uncle Iroh firebender. <laughs> He'd just be chill. <laughs> boo boo boo. Um. All right. So my turn. Mm hmm Okay. So you go away. I escape. Okay. <laughs> Bloop. What about Danny and Art? I would be probably I don't know Airbender. I think I would also be a Waterbender. I'd be, I'd be an Air or a Waterbender. Better. I think. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, Ranger Girl says so. Cucumber would destroy Chunk if they were to fight each other. Really, <laughs> I don't know. I think that Cucumber would like just be pretty uncontrolled and pretty just kind of ragey. Mm -hmm. And Chunk would just like take his time, tire him out. I think that's what I think would happen. Yeah. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Danny's back interested in the game. Sorry, I'm back in the game. <laughs> uh, Danny so can't do both things. I'm going to move one. Because Cora's back a, a rung now. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Texas Gold says Kenny would be an awesome bender. Strength of two, range of one. <laughs> Oh, that sucks. I think the two range of one. Texas Gold says the cucumber hits like a girl. I've seen it. It's true. <laughs> Probably. I don't, I don't let him hit me. It's not in his contract. I got two. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Such a fucking waste. Ooh. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. What happened? No, it's fine. Doesn't matter. All right, so these go here. Do nothing. And then reverse the current. This is what I've been waiting for. Oh. What happens when you do that? I do things. All right. So these are going to be piercing lovely things. Um, but first, I get three piercing. This is where I, I don't understand piercing because if they can still be blocked. Oh, right. Because we've been doing this shit wrong. So this would automatically cancel out right Those now. Those two. That's yes. why. It's whatever would be left over after that. Yes. That's what's happening. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Tight, 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 tight. Fuck. <laughs> hey, welcome back. It's bad. Hey, welcome back. 
Mm. Mm -mm. Um. <laughs> Felted fights. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> right, we can sorry. see you on your phone, Ryan. Yeah, good. Three, <laughs> range of two, one, two. So I'm gonna have three. With <laughs> Stacy says, I said to call me Stacy, and no one cares. I just forget. I look up at the list, and it just says Ranger Girl. Stacey. So this is her like big Stacey. badass attack. I'll by try the to line. remember that. Okay. Um, and she have a good ass attack. That's right. What? I don't know. What? <laughs> what is Danny? <laughs> you haven't even opened the scotch yet. You're not making any sense. <laughs> no, I know. But I'm going to save him. Great. Yeah, because this is adjacent, so I'm going to drop four of these here. Boo boom. Chua. Boo boo. Where? There. No. Wait, so those, those were... Um, yeah, I don't have those cards anymore. Oh, that's where the piercing would have been. Yeah. Correct? Yeah. I see. Hmm. Wait, these are different cards. Uh, yeah, so those. Oh, I get it. So the uh, all of my fire and earth were piercing, so those don't resolve. <laughs> okay, well then I'll put those somewhere else then. <laughs> okay, I got to interrupt. Um, sh oh, I lost it. Oh, Ding Sun was like, "How's your mom, Stacy? Ah! She still got it going on." <laughs> I was very confused, and then I got back to the game. Okay. In that case, I'll put these adjacent, adjacent. Hmm. Be a dick and try to keep you from running away from me. Okay. Uh, and then she also has the counter bend. First target any space with your opponent's tokens matching the active bender's element. So it'd have to be water, so I don't actually get to use it. Nope. That's balls, man. That sucks. But that's a cool move. Otherwise, then I can move the stack one adjacent space from its original position following the spread and token annihilation. So, were any of these water, I could have done it. Yeah. Sorry, Bretta. Today's Thursday. Today's Thursday, right? Yeah. Today's Thursday. Yes, sir. All right, cool. That sucks. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm sure that's how piercing is supposed to work, but... Yeah. Oh, I also didn't gain my chi at the beginning. Mm. I have to change this in for chi, because Bolin's gone. Mm-hmm. Four to spend, so I'll get this. I'll get this. Oh, I'm so screwed. <laughs> Pew! Gunk! <laughs> That's so rough, man. <laughs> no movement is super, super cruel. In Mitchie says, speaking of Twitter, I had to go watch Naked Chunk for that medallion, Ryan. I can't unsee. Oh, that medallion. I don't know. I now have but Naked to... Chunk. The... Were, you, uh, were you naked on our first show? Did you not have clothes? Chunk d might have been naked. Huh. There was that one episode where he undressed in the middle That's of the true. episode. That's true. If you guys go back to watch like some of the earlier episodes, <laughs> Chunk just got hot in the middle of the episode and just started undressing, yeah. sticking pieces of clothing out. Yep. Oh, the no. one you were giving away. Oh, I still need to grab a couple of those from you. Yeah? We forgot to do them. Oh, one percent package is out. I hope she didn't send them already. Well. Um, um, um. Um, um, um. Okay, so something else happened. Oh, I now. thought the camera was on me, was it? I have nothing left to buy. Mm. I've drawn my hand, and because I have nothing left to buy and nothing left to replace, I have to roll for the end of the game. Mm. Oh, no. Sorry, all of yours now go away. Right. This is all you? Yeah. Um, okay, so also what happens now is you do a line advance. Okay. Mm. So you get to dodge all that shite, unfortunately. Wah! But because you get a lion advance, I get another turn. Okay. <laughs> Dingson, Dingson says Korra. he's ready to coat uh, oh, his city in chunk and cucumber stickers. That would that's fine with us. We don't mind. You continue playing. Okay. Okay, so I'll do this for some chi. Not that it matters now because I can't buy anything. Pew. Okay, so first. I'll move one and then I'll block nothing three range of three 
and one adjacent. Do that. Three, one. And I'll do high tide, so I get to move again. Uh, which rap game do you mean, um, Stacy? Rap game. Um, and I have two at range one. And I will move. Put these here. I'm starting to learn. Laying the trap. <laughs> starting to learn. Okay, and then... So I'll leave these out. The three, these are piercing, just so as you know. The, <laughs> the what page? Puff. It's puff. They um, say. <laughs> oh, that one. Got it. Um, piercing. So these are piercing. Okay. And this as well. Okay. Oh, wait, no, not this. Just these. Cool. And then I'll do things. Can't buy anything, can't do the thing. So this is another turn, I have to roll for it. Play continues. Okay. So, movement out for attack. Oh, apparently there's a rap game on TV. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know anything about it. Found a flaw in this game. Hmm. What is this? It? Is my next hand. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you win. Because <laughs> these are all Earth cards, so I'd have to discard these for chi. Oh. Um, and so I, I and won't be able to... You also don't get any more chi because yeah, you're... Yeah, I won't a. be able to make any more cards. Or, yeah. So I'm done. Days nobody over there. Um, then he's gonna move again. Hi, computer. <laughs> he's trying so hard. Got. Uh -oh. mm -hmm. Computer's gonna explode. Yeah. So these can't. This is piercing, but so it doesn't cancel that out. But oh well. You win. Yeah, and then this goes up because Games over Ryan. That. Yeah. No need to rub I'll it in. I'll still go through the motions. Yeah. <laughs> I'll gain my chi that I can't gain. Mm. This is my hand. Can't do anything, so they all go here. Can't buy anything. <laughs> can't move. You get knocked out. I'm toast. Yeah. You're winner. Yeah. The cheating, cheating wolf bats. <laughs> yeah. But you got away with it, too. We did. Why? All right, let's put this away, and then I gotta use the restroom. Let's put this away. What happened to my turn? Okay, do you do? You guys want to play? I thought I was gonna. No, I'm just play the we victor. Can, we can play. We can. Oh yeah, because we, we can got move on. we got games to get through, man. Yeah, that's fine. So Whatever. I don't lose these. I don't want to play anyways. Can you help? Can you <laughs> the box? What do you need? The box. The box. You need to do all things for the box and stuff in them. Yes, for the game. Yes, for, for the, the game. game you're playing right now. Yes, now. yes, my God, just do it. <laughs> we don't need a bit. We just need to move on. I always do bits. I you know. know that about me. I know. We, we're How both. Well. Don't make me hurt everyone. <laughs> I remember that one time that Kenny said he was coming and he lied about it. Is he not, is he not coming anymore? Oh. Maybe he's coming at 7 30. <laughs> What? We need to do Ryan's unboxing of a loot crate. Hey! We can. Let's wait, do that wait. next. We have to put away this stuff first. Yes, please. Yes. I appreciate that. So now these just have a place to go. Yep. So these get stacked together and they'll okay. go on top of this stack. But overall, I dig this game. I play it again several times to figure to out get actually a real handle on the rules because I, I don't have much of a strategy. I just wanted to attack. That, that was my main goal. You wanted Danny to win. What? Who doesn't? Damn, Val. He he he. I 
I was fine with Danny not winning. <laughs> most, <laughs> most people are. I'm just... Just think that if Danny wins against all, he just he just boasts about it like nonstop. He just lets it go to his head, and then poor Ryan has to take it. Okay. <laughs> what the? What the what the? So what's coming up next? Loot crate. Loot crate. That's right. I loot just said crate that. followed after loot crate. We'll be playing Azul. <laughs> What the hell? I don't know. It's your box. Thanks. It's <laughs> extraordinarily helpful. I think Danny needs a break. Yeah. I need a potty break. break. That's what I've been trying to do. <laughs> yeah, he's starting to get grumpy. He needs to be fed, too. We need to feed Danny. You should always feed Danny. I, I, I feel the grumpiness coming. How does coming. this work? What <laughs> happened? How were there more? <laughs> that doesn't actually go there, but still. This doesn't... Something this does wrong. not make sense. We should have done what we always do and take a picture of <laughs> shit. <laughs> Ding Sun says feed and burp him. <laughs> <laughs> Did Brian get new eyebrows? No, love thee. Oh, for some reason I said a new, I said new eyebrows. No, it's, it's T-H-E, but then the W was extra. Ryan does a really good stitch voice. I'll do a, I'll do a really good stitch. That's all I got. That's my but that's it. That's the only that's voice he can do. The he tries to do other things and just, just stitch comes out. Uh, <laughs> I, I tried to do a kid voice. This is my dog. Oh, man. <laughs> it's like my dad when he does voices. They all sound like Kermit. I stuck up. I stuck up. Paper? No. Um, what's this called? Starburst in my mouth, but I didn't unwrap it. <laughs> So I was eating paper. <laughs> Why? Was it just because it's already pink? Yeah. Where am I finding you for getting distracted? <laughs> I was eating paper. <laughs> uh, okay, hold on. Let's be smart about this. Okay. I know, yeah. I know I have to Four bags, it. way too many tokens for there to be that. that that's not right. All right, we'll do like effect tokens here. We See, I don't even know what these are for yet. We haven't even gotten to these. Nope. So that's cool. There's a lot of a lot of things. I like options in gaming, so this is fun. Okay, so I'll include all the ones that weren't used. So this is like when we get to special time. Special time. So oh, Sarah White meant you should like she likes your eyebrow raise thing. Mm -hmm. I figured. Okay, humble. Oh, I know. I know what people love about me. <laughs> my oh. name is Ryan, and of course oh. they love my eyebrows. Back to you guys. <laughs> Put fire and water together. Because why not? Not enough bags for individual classes? No, I was so happy to. Well... They tried. That's all good. It's better than them. <laughs> Next on perception check, clean up. Always. It's the best part of gaming. I'll true. start. I'll do the loot crate at the same time. There's an idea. Okay. Oh, that. Oh, wow. Packaging, shipping was real kind to that, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at art. On it. What? An art. <laughs> okay. So what is this? So got a shirt. I'm gonna go here. Hey, hey, hey. It's upside down. <laughs> well gosh. Just face it you let her face you. Oh, it's the Back to the Future one. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It is. It's pretty cool. Sexy. Pretty cool. Pretty tight. Pretty tight. That's cool. 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 Ta ta ta. There is Sonic and Rings exclusive. 
Oh, it's an adult collectible. Oh, whoa, whoa. Whoa, I don't know if I can show this on the stream, guys. It's too adult. So, uh, yeah. No. No. <laughs> Sorry. Ah. It's a little... Do they spin, though? Do <laughs> they spin, though? Maybe? Ah, it makes noise. You make noise. Yes, I am. It's like a little, little statue. Still, this is probably the best, my favorite thing in this entire life. Like, if this were a sport, I would go watch it. I don't watch sports. Yay, guys! We played one game! Woo! Woo! It only took like three hours, three and a half hours. Ah, uh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Aw, oh, they want spindle. They do not. But they want spindle! Hey, Art, can you mute me? Huh? Mute me? Right Is that you? Ryan, can you talk? Uh -huh. blah, 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 blah. What? What? Oh, I just want to see which one oh. Danny was muted. So you gotta talk to this ah. Ryan. You can't just you can't just unbox and not talk about it. Yeah, talk about it. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm, le I'm letting a Danny out as well. So don't do it. Don't help oh, me. Oh yeah, don't uh, blame Danny. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Talk about your Lucre. You're yes. in charge now. Yes. I'm okay. So I got Lisa. a shirt. It's awesome. Uh, I got because it's like one of my favorite shows ever. Back to the Future, of course. Uh, then I got a cool little Sega. Figurine. You want to show that sideways? Yeah, so everybody can see it. Uh, oh, that's that's cool. Yeah. Oh, I want that. You want this? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to take it from you. You can't take it from me. Okay. Yeah, so you little, 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 little Sonic the Hedgehog running through some coins. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Got a 25 years of Simpsons. Oh. It's going to be a keychain. I'm trying to open a very small little sticker. Why would you? You put a sticker on it to, and then you also glue it down. That's stupid. <laughs> they wanted to make sure that you know. I don't know. I got nothing. Oh, and then, and then they, they put it in this. <laughs> in a little bag. <laughs> You're welcome. What do you want me to do? They want to make the unboxings a lot more interesting. It is a tiny skateboard that has almost nothing to do with The Simpsons except for Bart. So if you had no idea, yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you would had no idea that Bart Simpson uses a skateboard, then you really aren't a Simpsons fan. Yes, yes. But what I'm saying is, like, it's very, very loose referencing. Oh. <laughs> You're loose referencing. It is cute, though. It is a nice little skateboard. Okay. Now, the final thing in the box, which is my favorite, is... D and D, Dragon Dice Keeper. Oh, I'll take that instead. <laughs> no. D and D is my thing, man. You know, there's no reason for you to be so selfish about things like that. Wow. <laughs> yeah. You know, you could have bought your own box, but you, I guess you didn't. I missed it. It was, it was late. It. I missed it. <laughs> yeah. Sorry about that, buddy. Ah, little dragon. And he comes with a little dice. I've got cooler dice, but that's okay. <laughs> Stacy says that shirt is sexy. Yes, it is. And he just kind of holds it, holds it in his face, because he's a keeper. Oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, there was a code for loot box, loot crate. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was. <laughs> They sponsored our show. Yeah, playback. <laughs> oh, playback. Ah! <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Gina just burst through the door and scared the crap out of Ryan. I'm not moving anymore. <laughs> it's fine. 
What did the shirt say? It's just uh, like a breakdown of the... Uh, the Millennium Falcon? No. The Starship Enterprise? No. Try again. The TARDIS? No. <laughs> the DeLorean. I can't tell because it's upside down. Ah. So... So the sure. rest of this... <laughs> All right, keep going. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, this is the one I want to see. And then the, uh... That was the Simpsons box. And I guess the art for the inside this box is a TV. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Moi moi. <laughs> uh, is there a way to go to studio mode on this? I haven't been able to figure out what where that is. Okay. I would like to, but I don't know how. Okay, well, I'm just going to replace the logo mm. this way, I guess. And she asks, what do I got there? Well, A, I got another cider. <laughs> This is the artisanal blend from Stonewell. It's still basically syrup water. There's much better cider than that. Is it delicious though? Okay. Yeah, this was just available. We could totally do like, are you, are you allowed to like review like alcohols and stuff? I think you could. Probably. As long as you're not like drinking for tips, because that's bad. Yes. Well, the other thing I have is Azul. This is our next game. I'm Azul. And I'm trying to... It's so beautiful. And I'm going to uh, open it. Uh, open it? Uh, open it. <laughs> Hard to hear me. Did you turn me back on? I'm back. No, I didn't. Do I sound better now? I sound better. His mic was off. It's my mic. He was like, the is my mic. What? Out of sync. What? That's not right. We don't have a bathroom in here, so there is no sink. All right. So this <laughs> is Asul by Next Move Games. And I've been wanting to play this forever. And it was out of Stacey stock everywhere. Stacy really wants you to yell something random. Huh? Something random! There you go. <laughs> um, Sidra. But yeah, so this was out of stock forever, and you could only get it on Amazon for like 200 bucks, which it's a great game. I don't think a lot of games are worth that, um, especially when the MSRP is 40. So I got it for like 27, so I'm pretty happy with myself. Oh, look, look, y'all. The rule book is like a three fold sheet of paper. Hey! And Art, this one is multiplayer, so if you want to come back over here and play. But I'm having fun in Mission Control. You can do whatever you want. No, I'm man. coming back. I'm coming back. He's coming back. He's do your job! Back. And you your other job! You and your other, other job! I replaced the Azul thing, so you're welcome. Oh, hey! hey. Oh, microphone! Can you switch the. the <laughs> Not what I meant. What do you want? I know. Uh, the overhead, the big, uh, big uh, overhead. Uh, like that? Oh, you want big, big overhead? Yeah. We're unboxing again. Unboxing things. Look, look how short these rules are compared to some of the other books. They're nothing. Uh, so these are the supply tiles. They're pretty as well. Same on either side. Punchy punch. Punchy punch. Punch punch punch. punch, punch. These are every, the individual play mats. Okay. So that's yours. Wow, my this own play my. mat. This will be ours, and then this goes up to four players. So this goes back in the in the box, y'all. Um, ooh, the bag is even pretty. Look at that. Danny, it's still super hard to hear you. Apparently, it's still super hard to hear me. Audio is very off. And audio is off. Oh, you know what we never did when we changed to Streamlabs? What? Put in the delay. Well, do we have a delay? Like, yeah, it should be in the same uh, uh, same uh, audio I know, yeah. thing. I, I I knocked your thing down a little bit. Ah! Oh, okay. How okay. about now? So no, they're saying audio is off by a lot. <laughs> Nobody told us this whole time? Well, maybe it didn't no, happen it until might, now. It might just be a, a streaming thing, not an oh. actual us thing. Yeah. Ooh, guys. I like this textured box inlay. I like how simple it is. Like, I like that these will fit in here once we're done. One of these filters. It fits. This is it. Yeah, but it's, this is it's, it. it's happened over time, so it's, oh. it's the internet stream. That sucks. That's so, never happened on... We, it's happened to us. Oh. Um, we could stop, stop the stream and restart the stream. Is, is it okay. because we've been streaming so long? I think so. I want to just, since we're doing a zoom, want to just stop and start? Yeah. Okay, we're going to stop the stream and restart it. So we'll be right back in two seconds. Uh, make sure you refresh when we come back. 
Yep. Uh, we'll be back in a second. Uh, which one's the train? The very, very first. Well, I'll, I'll do both. First left one. 